Well, all right, folks, we are here with the <coughs> deck that I went uh, 20th with in the SCG Cleveland Open. I also got guests George and Jay, two great friends of mine, uh, hanging out with us. Um, I am making some minor edits that after this last weekend that I would have gone through with if I were to play the event again. Um, so, uh, in the main deck here, I'm going with 26 lands. Of that, we have three Cinder Glades and four Stomping Grounds. We've got uh, six Mounts, two Forests, uh, four Valakuts, and then we have uh, four Verdants, and then two Green Fetches and uh, one Windswept. Um, uh, two, uh, like, the Green Fetches don't really matter. You can do whatever you want with those. Um, and then three summoning packs, summoners packs, three bolts. I went with the three bolts and one sweltering. I just don't feel like bolts in a great spot right now. Um, so I've just been trimming those and uh, sweltering some in a similar situation where uh, it's fine. If I want more, I'll bring in like anger of gods, but like um, I just don't feel like I need a ton of them. And I'm really all in on like just making sure I've. Uh, I'm hitting my ramp, so I'm hitting my far seeks. I'm hitting my secure and search for tomorrow, so I have four of each of those. Uh, the two prismatic and the one wood elves, um, just in case I do need to fetch it up. It doesn't really happen very often where I need to pack for a wood elves, but sometimes getting that land, uh, getting that ramp, and uh, having the creature is relevant. Um, I feel like scape shift's pretty poor right now, um, so I'm only running that as a one of. And then the breach version, you don't really need it. Uh, four through the breaches, two hour promise, serving as uh, kind of like a light prime time, and then four prime times and a wood fall. So, what do you guys think about the uh, main deck here? Um, I was actually really surprised. I didn't realize you were running only one scape shift that weekend. Yeah, yep. Yeah, I'm only on one scape shift. I, uh, <sighs> it was great every time I had it in hand. Um, I would cast it, and I think I won three or four of my games off the scape shift, but mm -hmm. honestly, I never want to see more than one. It's, like, yeah, really bad. Whenever you draw the second scape the, shift, you're the, just like, well, there goes that draw step. Exactly. Then obviously, it's four prime times that we can't see. Yep, four prime times right here, um, and one woodfall primus. One, one, one fall primus. Mm -hmm. I really like the woodfall primus on the, um, on the breach plan, just because you never know, because it's modern and it could be anything. Yeah, it was actually, like, really awesome, too. Like, I went against uh, some pretty weird decks, um, one of the weirdest decks that I, uh, uh went against, uh, was this, um, red, um, it was like a free win red deck and a splash black, but he was playing like the ensnaring bridges, he was playing the blood moons and stuff like that, and he like ripped my hand apart and then dropped a threat, and the only reason I was able to beat him one game was I threw the breach, my woodfall primus, blew up his ensnaring bridge, swung with it, hit him for six, it died, came back, and I blew up his blood moon. So, like, <laughs> blew them out, and, like, that was the only reason I was able nice. to stay in the game. So, like, if it was any other creature in my deck, I would just, I couldn't do anything. Because I couldn't swing with it, I couldn't get Valica trigger. so it was really awesome. But it is hard to cast, because it is triple green yeah. and five colorless. So, unless you're getting a couple prime times already uh, in the play. So, like, other than that, I don't think I'd do much to this uh, main board right now. Um... The Hour of Promise are things that, like, if I were to find other relevant creatures, I may put that in instead. Um, we just saw the boar get spoiled, so, you know, I could see myself cutting one through the breach and one Hour of Promise for two boars. I don't think that would be hard at all. The Raise Boar. Mm -hmm. Legendary Boar God. Wait, it was a god? Yeah, it's a god. It's a boar god. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I didn't realize it was a god. There's so many cards. There's cards that let you search for gods, isn't there? Um, I wouldn't be surprised, but I don't know. What no, but head. there is a card from Amonkhet that you exile a creature, and then you may look at their hand and exile all copies if it's like a god. I think, mm. uh, like, I don't know. It was, it was like one of those like creepy arts from Hour of Devastation because it like showed the like scorpion god like behind uh, Ronus, and like he's just like essentially like right before he like snaps his poor little. Just alligator <laughs> neck and it's just like oof <laughs> it's like, so uh yeah that but no there's there's a few cards that actually like specifically reference like exiling gods and things like that so but ilhark has a built-in mechanic to be exile so because yeah. he shuffles in uh three from the top or third from the top essentially teferi tucked okay. uh, whenever he gets exiled or dies so he's a he's a pretty cool card and he has the yeah. breach effect on him yeah, I like that a lot, swings. just being able to put something in attacking. Um, in the sideboard here, um, this is very close to where I, uh, what I had in the open. Um, originally in the open here, I ran two abrades. I replaced one abrade with a Crossing Grip here, and I had a Thrun, and I would have played a Carnage Tyrant um, if I could get my hands on it, but um, Thrun was also my backup plan, because I like Thrun a lot, but there were just times where... 
um, that bigger body and then the ability for it to uh, just trample in uh, would have been really relevant. Um, Thrun's fine because I could just regenerate it through a ton of stuff, which made it like the best blocker ever. Um, so in a couple situations, that was what kept me in the game. So you can go back and forth. Uh, debatably, you might want to go from one into one. But in the version we're going to test out today, uh, I'm on two Surgicals, uh, the Abrade, two Angers, a Shatterstorm, uh, the Cross and Grips new, the Rexage, two Bailoffs, the Carnage Tyrant, two Damping Sears, and two Chalices. Absolutely loved the Chalices. Um, I blew out my opponent's really bad with them against this <laughs> this is it phoenix player <laughs> um i was on the play uh game two um they're like land go i'm like land chalice they're like <laughs> huh okay my turn <laughs> go and they just repeated that for a while until i was just like tight and win and they're like okay did you did you ever get to like play against affinity and just game two chalice on zero or any did you i didn't did you get to do any like chalice on zeros during the weekend um no chalices on let me see uh i, I did chalice on zero against amulet titan okay um they uh, summoners packed yeah. right <laughs> stop summoners pack stops uh packed negation so that was sweet um and then uh i chat i the only affinity player i went against was hardened affinity and i did get oh, to okay. chalice them on one which um, is pretty strong. Right. Stops their hardened uh, scales and stops their um, ancient stirring. So uh, pretty relevant against them. And then usually they're playing like nature's claims. Yep. So then that took uh, take care of all that if they wanted to even kill the chalice. So, um, And then I brought it in against Grixis Shadow twice, which was really good. Yeah. Yeah, Shadow is very weak to Chalice of the mm -hmm. Void. Like, Phoenix decks can kind of power through it if right. they have, like... If they have the phoenixes in the bin already, they can just throw away three spells to uh, trigger the phoenix or throw away spells to trigger the thing in the ice to flip it. But, like, uh, decks like Death Shadow, just all, it just turns off their cards. Like, they have to actually resolve the card to get value out of it. Yeah. Which I think is one of the reasons why people are so popular on Phoenix, which it was, like, what, 21.7% of the metagame uh, during the Open? Yeah, it was, and, it was nuts. Yeah, it was, like, when I saw that statistic in, like, second place, it was, like, I think we're prison, and then there, like, there are two decks at about 7% mm -hmm. right below that. But it was just, like, the, the next highest deck... Oh, past Phoenix was like a third of the Phoenix players. Right. So it's. <laughs> and I was talking to um, what was it James Johnson? Mm -hmm. Um, he just jumped on the deck, and he was he didn't unfortunately didn't make day two, um, but he was talking about how, uh, uh the percentages in day one were uh, increased. So there was more players in day one that had it. Oh, okay. Um, this hand seems slow, but it also seems fine. Like we got a little bit of interaction mm -hmm. going on here. Um, and then we do have a breach. I don't know. I'm always leery to keep like cr just creature interaction in modern because mm -hmm. honestly, like three damage to the board isn't really that relevant right mm -hmm. now. It's, so, because like let's say there are a phoenix, mm -hmm. like what what are we doing to the the phoenix player here? Well, like it, main board, we're not really doing much to them anyway. I guess that's fair. I but actually I like any hand that leads. Because there's so there's not very starting many starting with Valakut's really yeah strong yeah there's not not very many good turn one mm -hmm. plays in this deck that aren't uh, the suspend card so I actually like the hands that you it would have been preferable if we were on the play instead of being on the draw here because uh, that makes us like but it gives you two additional draws to draw two mana to draw a ramp spell to now draw we are on the Mullig London Mulligan on MTGO currently correct I. Think so? I think it was. It's. Active but I right think now, this so. hand is, the hand is good enough to keep. Yeah. Uh, being blind seems fine. Yeah. It's not. It's not absolute. It's not amazing by any means. Like we I don't have the, Like if the wood elves was like a two drop ram spell. I'd yeah. Be more if those or oh, he opened up forest. Uh oh. <laughs> okay. Uh -oh. This sweltering suns is dead. Well, at least we have the volcat in hand. So if he okay, all right. I mean. That's a thing. Like we have the. Here's the thing, things. though. You have a way to kill this guy, which is what. We do. Um, their mm -hmm. milling power is really strong, though. So, like, they yeah. mill enough yeah. uh, mountains out of our deck. I guess they have ghost quarters, don't they? Yeah. yeah. Um, so they don't. On they actually don't play that many. Uh, so it's like very relevant that they could miss. Man, there goes um, escape shift. That's uh, fine. I don't. I don't <laughs> miss. win anymore. That was the only card. Yeah. Hand. Wow. The only thing that I want right now is just a two mana ramp spell. If we yeah. get a two mana ramp spell, I'm super excited. I'm going to be medium excited. It is actually um, very relevant once, like, uh, Sweltering Suns can be cycled in yes. response to a mill 
Um, so once they we get their like lantern something. lock going, yeah, we can try to keep stuff when they tr when they try to deny it from us. Um, oh, but yeah, like the some. biggest the biggest downfall is like if they really get going on wow <laughs> on the uh, mill plan here, yeah, like with that we could possibly just run out of mountains. Mm -hmm. Like I've I've played a bit of the you know Valica style decks, and like there are times where when someone's like. Like especially like hardcore mill that like deck is you can't beat that deck because they just mill you twice with like a ten mana mill and you just you're like okay I don't have enough mountains to kill you with. There was a blue black mill player that did well by the way. I'm actually not too horribly surprised. Oh no. Ah. Uh... Okay. Well, this Kaya kind of tips me off to possibly surgical extraction being a four of in the main deck. I wouldn't be surprised. Because that's like... Because there's like the meme with Kaya where you just like... You surgical all their stuff. And then Kaya... You, to sort of like crank up Kaya's fireball effect. And you're also yeah. ripping apart your... I mean... I haven't seen it in Lantern. But surgicals make sense in the main deck of Lantern. Because you're just incidentally milling so many different cards. On the plus side, if you draw an additional bolt, then we can, we can clean this right up, you know? Yeah. I'm wondering if we bolt them in the face because like we to play give them what elves next team. turn. Yeah. We like, can hold a turn, so like we can play what elves in our turn, right? Mm -hmm. Get the force to play, shock ourselves with the stomping ground, okay. and then hold up the bolt, and then we can bolt them if necessary, and then the following turn we'll be able to breach and kill them. Okay. Um, is the game plan, but because I don't, I, I'm just thinking about whether or not we want to bolt right now. Uh, so the Titan. So we'll bolted have... Kaya in response to what? Like, the the uptick is a cost, so you're not going to be yeah, able to stop you can't, that. you can't respond to Planeswalker abilities, um, because, like, part of the cost is the loyalty uptick or downtick, so they have priority after casting the Planeswalker, so they get to activate it, mm -hmm. and that puts it up to the four, and there's, it, the four, the, like, the uptick doesn't go on the stack. The ability that... Oh, you're right, he did up. activate the bell first, didn't he? I did oh, not realize. Did no, we're trash. Oops. <laughs> well, we're just running our mouths over here being an idiot. Yeah, he cast it and then he activated the bell. You know what? That's a really good call. I did not realize to he did fair, that. To be fair, we'll just make believe that our opponent didn't make that mistake. <laughs> we'll just assume that... Alright, there's no... Although, I do like the adorable interaction of the Pixis of Pandemonium and Kaya. Because Pixis, you know, exiles. Oh, we've got at least one bullet gone. So, unless something crazy happens this turn, we should be able to win. Which is a little... I hope we just... This is where they activate Bell, mill through the Breach or Titan, and then they Surgical. I would cry. <laughs> cry actual mm -hmm. tears. Now, yeah, like, I, I feel like we really have to get this game one to, to be in the match. Now we've got a good amount of artifact hate on the plus side with uh, the Abrades and the Shatterstorm, the Croson Grip, and the Rex Sage. So that's cool. Mm -hmm. That's not bad for us. Yeah, Crucible doesn't. Sure. So that's uh, just. Yeah, that's fine. He came ready for Phoenix. Sure was. He was not ready for a hasty prime time for five mana. Watch him not activate this Planeswalker. Just to. Be... <laughs> He's not. Oh, interesting. He only. He didn't. Yeah, he's definitely playing surgicals. He left that scape shift in the yard. He only exiled one thing with Kaya yeah. there. So that's fine, though. So we're going to bolt them and then go to our turn here. We'll drop the forest, go get a Valakut and a mountain, and then go get two mountains. Ooh. Oh, darn. And we then oh, this is no, we, we need it untapped, unfortunately. No, no. Th th it's the same. We, we're going to 18 well, them here. It, it, it would have done... been more damage yeah. if it would have been an untapped. A red source. Right, but luckily they're at 17. Or rather, untapped mountain. We have that one extra damage from the Wood Elves beat down. Mm -hmm. I bet our opponent wishes that the Crucible of Worlds was an ensnaring bridge right about now. Alright, which is. Cut. And stomping. No damage. Move to combat. You want to save they... us the time and concede opponent? Now he's thinking about casting. No, uh, this is the, the time where he's pack. like slamming his fist into his desk and he's got. Because who plays Breach Titan? 
Oh my god. I don't think the guy playing Kaya Lantern gets to gets to complain <laughs> no, about he go, playing. He goes on full stuff. tilt, hundred percent. All right, cards that I know immediately I want to bring in here are... Oh, that's not the one I want. Uh, I want the... Anything that destroys an artifact? Absolutely. So I've got <laughs> the Abrade, the Crossing Grip, the Rex Sage, and the Shatterstorm for the artifact destruction, and I feel like Chalice is pretty relevant you, here. Uh, enchantment. Do we... Oh, yeah, Rex Sage. Bring in Surgical. Yeah, I was going to say, do we try to, like, meme them back and bring in Surgical? What are we Surgical? I Whatever they target of ours. Oh, I guess I'm not mad. If you have red cards, I'd say bring Surgical in. Like, those bolts are super dead. Yeah, we're taking out the bolts here for sure, but we, we're bringing in six cards. Sweltering Suns as well. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so those ah. those are the four that I would take out right away. I would definitely bring in all of the... I, I mean, I think we're overboarding if we bring in the surgicals. Like it, it'd be really that's, cute. That's but. what I'm thinking too. I, I don't think yeah. we need the surgicals, but I do want to bring in these chalices on one because that's gonna be able to stop a good portion of their game plan. Um, do we? Well, no. Prismatic Omen's pretty good if they're milling us because yeah. that allows us. Yeah, to have more I'm thinking mountains. the Wood Elves and one hour of promise, or Actually, yeah, the Thunder maybe. Breach. Um. Because the, the, the upside to the Hour of Promise here is that we're going to be able to fetch up the Valakuts, which are going to be super relevant with them milling us. Like, uh, having more a bit, uh, chances to get it out of our deck, um, I think it's going to be crucial. That's fair. Maybe we board out the Scape Shift because it's like we're less, instead of the uh, Through the Breach, because we're less likely to actually be able to assemble mm -hmm. a Scape Shift kill. So the only thing I'm thinking about there is um, this lets us win still through a uh, Ensnaring Bridge. In case they go that, if we have, like, so the through the bridge and the I mean, like, shift. are we that worried about an ensnaring bridge with, like, Rex Age, Shatterstorm, mm -hmm. Crows, and Grip, a braid? Okay. Like, I, I feel like we can beat an ensnaring bridge after the board. You're, like, that's, that's a fair point. Yeah, like, I, I'm good with this then. Yeah, like, I, it's. Uh, I mean, there's obviously the part where, like, mm -hmm. we just never see the interaction and the ensnaring bridge. Yeah, if, if that happens, there, they but, have like. It. I, I feel like we're we're fine after board to beat an ensnaring bridge. Okay. Then I think we're good with this portion here, how we have it set up. Not to mention, you know, they they might have a card in hand. We just, you know, 1-1 one, one soccer tribe elder beats. <laughs> Steve, get in there. I mean, it's not unheard of. I mean, I, you know, I, uh, was it was like three years ago now when Lantern was like really popular. Like, I was playing it uh, for a few months, and I remember a game where I thought seized my opponent's um, Wilt Leaf Liege into play to pump their Noble Hierarchs so they could no longer swing under my bridge to stay at <laughs> one life exactly after the thought seize. That was a, that was a pretty adorable Our game. Our Chalice is on one, correct? Yeah. Do we do it next turn? Oh, that's interesting. They put us on the play. Uh... Yeah, actually, there was a forum about that that talked about how lantern oh, players... Oh, so they're, like, playing gemstone, or, or what is No, there? no, 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 no. Uh, they found that the additional card that you drew while playing lantern control, uh, they won significantly more games on the draw than on the play. Like, uh, the number was, like, a calculable dis or difference. Oh, because it really just doesn't matter for a good portion of... Right. Oh, please you, you let just... us draw uh, artifact destruction. Well, I mean, we can... Dang it. All right, never mind. If we chalice on one right here... I think we just chalice on one. And pass. Yeah, and, yeah. Then, and then they can't... Like, what are you, what are you doing? Bud over there, nothing. Yeah, mm -hmm. it kind of, like, it shuts off their ability to opal reasonably. And I would not... Kill. I was going to shock myself here and go get a uh, stomping ground. Okay, that's... But here's the thing. If they have mm -hmm. surgical, now they surgical your wooded foothills... And then you're... We're fine if they surgical wooded foothills. Like, if they want to blow a surgical on that, thank okay. you. Like, that's I a, mean, I always... Like we don't, I need, always we like don't the, need the fetch lands. We need the things that the fetch lands get, right? Right. Nah. Like the land density is a thing. But... There's, wasn't there one of those cards that lets you get... Um, What's your rip basic lands? Yeah, okay, yeah. Was it the, the card from Ravnica <laughs> Allegiance that people are always trying to play Unmoored Ego? You you name a card and you get four copies of We're that so card. We're so good at this game, folks. Wow. Yeah, you know, everything's... This is how you get 20th place at an open. You have no idea how hot I was running. I was like, this is just the greatest ever. Listen, like... 
Are they stoned? Everyone's down, like, trying to put in three two hasty flyers on turn. Oh, look at that! Or and flipping that white two mana seven eights, mm -hmm. or uh, mm -hmm. you know, like doing all sorts of other stuff. But like sometimes you just need to put lands into play and kill your opponent. Yeah, see this. Oh no! <laughs> What's on war? Do you go? Let's do? see what they name. So they name a card, and Scapeshift. exile four copies of that. I card. so hope they name Scapeshift. No, they named Primeval Titan, and that's okay. very bad for us. Well, we get to draw a card, though, right? <laughs> we do get to draw a and, card. And we can... They didn't play White Ley Line yet, so... But the the issue is, is, like, we now are through the Breach, is essentially dead, unless we draw the one of Woodfall Primus. Mm -hmm. And now we have to, like, essentially... Slowly shock yeah, them slowly to death. Slowly bollock at them. Yeah, it's, it's not in a great spot. Yeah. Hey, Imp, thanks for joining, man. Hi, Imp Bloody. Thanks for coming in. Do we chalice on three if we get the chance to? Yeah, if we get another one. Because, um, like, I, their one way to, like, really get us from this point would be, like, Kaya. Yeah, no, I think three is a good one because then we also get to hit Crucible. We get, to, uh, like, there's just a lot of really relevant things we hit. Um, so we would definitely... You know, if we get to nine mana, we can, through the Breach, splice into Arcane another through the Breach. Oh, wow. You're not wrong. Yeah, this might. I think this is just like a. I don't know if we. No, can we got this it. Matchup. No, we got it. Listen. So we just need to hit a pact here, to hit a a woodfall primus. Or that. Yeah, that's a good card. Do you just get two valakuts with that thing? Yes. Okay. I'm just gonna hit two valakuts here, and then play them out and shoot them for nine, and then just try to finish. Okay. The game yeah. That. Way. Okay. That that draw. I forgot about the hour of promise. That draw actually makes it way more reasonable to just kill them by putting mountains into play one at a time. Kind of wish we hadn't drawn the second through the breach, but you know whatever. <laughs> Moving great as escape ship. <laughs> <laughs> Man, do we... All right, scoreboard, I guess, you know. No, this is fine. We, like, they're, 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 like I said, they're, they're, we shut them off so much of their deck with the Chalice on one that they just weren't going to go anywhere. Like, I like it. They weren't going to be able to mill us effectively. I like it a lot. Uh, so, I don't know. They could have just, like, unmoored Ego again and named Mountain, gotten four more Mountains out of our deck. They, they could have named, could, like, Stomping Ground or Cinderglade. Or... Yeah, well, they could have gone for the Valakut to begin with. Um, they could have. We already it, had one on the field, though, so it's, like, kind of awkward. But it's, like, really slow with just one. You kind of need two to actually well, accelerate into not that. when we have the prime time, because the prime time would have gotten us a lot. Yeah, no, the first one has to name prime time, but... But, yeah, the, you know, that's how you get 20th at an open. You just be above average. Mm -hmm. I think, I, like I said, I think I was the only player. Um, oh, this is awkward. This hand is slow. Yeah, I think we have to ship this. Now it's time to see if they got that new mulligan rule. It yep. is. All Sweet. Right. This hand's great. Well, I'm, I'm interested to see. Yeah, this hand's great. Like, Just, What do we put back, though? Uh, basic mountain, because you're not... I'm, I was going to ship either the basic mountain here um, or the bolt, but I think just in the case they are, and then I... Uh, some kind of interactions required. I think we should uh, well, ship I the mean, mountain. Yeah, I would just ship the mountain. Just in yeah. Put a card on the bottom of your library. Okay. I think yeah. I think you just click which one. Oh, on the it goes on the bottom. Yeah. yeah. I just wanted to make sure. I wasn't. I was hoping that it doesn't. Uh... <laughs> Did you think it went on the top or something? Yeah. Oh my lord, that'd be so good. Like what in the world? Uh, that's yeah. It didn't I was I, I didn't know if they got shuffled into the deck was my question. You're just like put lightning bolt on top, play this Delver, <laughs> get you. <laughs> oh my lord, the Delver deck has like statistical higher odds to flip Delver after mulliganing. That'd be disgusting and stupid. It'd let Delver come back. Well, I feel like this lightning bolt is lightning bad now. No, the, the Delver is not. Oh, on. never We're mind. Not. We're great. Oh no, this lightning bolt's so good. Yes. Get out of here, Cheerios. I got to play that at uh, one of the local LGSs the oh, other yeah. night. It was, it was fascinating. <laughs> By fascinating, I mean there's a lot of games where... Man, everything is just... Coming up Dewey House. Do you know what the worst part is? If he has the redundant, we could still lose. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Well, we still something. need to have a land here. But even or if he breach. has the redundant, he might still fizzle. Like, it's very real to fizzle. 
from this point. Unless his hand's like all Cheerios. We'll see. But he does. He has to hit like a Mox Opal here or a land. There there's it is. A mox. Okay, there's the Mox. For a white? For, okay, uh, yeah, no. Ta okay. All right, we're probably dead here. <laughs> well, he, there's a very... He had the retract, so. He's going to hit the second Mox. No, he's got... He just replays that one. Like, it was just... He still needs one more mana for the Grape Shot, though. Yeah. No, he does, He didn't land drop this turn. That's fair. Well, like, well, he just has to play a land. Not to mention he's drawing a lot of cards from the retract. I appreciate that this version, this Storm deck, is so fast. <laughs> yeah, it's better than watching it's, regular yeah. Storm. I mean, to be fair, you can just scoop whenever you're the Storm opponent casts Gifts Ungiven, and they yep. have three mana in the pool. <laughs> we've died. Not a problem here. So we've got... Room for Chalices. Damping. Damping. Chalice, chalice zero. Here we chalice. go. Chalice. Uh, um, I don't bring in Rex Age, it's too slow. Well, yeah. it do, artifact Destruction actually doesn't do anything. Yeah. Right, so. I feel like we do want just any bit of removal that we can just in case they do. I think between it. Bolts and a Braid and your Chalices, I wouldn't. And your Dampening Spirit. Honestly, like, I would rather have the Surgicals in. Okay. Um, because to try to hit their like, bounce effects. Yeah, they can, like, hit their bounce effects if you bolt a guy and then surgical it. Like, that also is... you can, But they only have eight creatures that allow them to draw. Okay. So surgicaling out their creatures makes it very much so... Their, their odds of getting there are a lot less. Okay. Um, all right, so then we're pretty good on the damping. I, thing that I cut Woodfall Primus. Because it's you're just anything clunky. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like you'll eventually kill. Them. Like essentially, our board plan is to mess them up so much that they just eventually die. Right. I don't think we need the prismatics here either. How much? Uh, what's our deck count right now? Uh, we need to bring in th cut three more cards if we're bringing all this in. Um, Honestly, I don't like the three mana interaction because if you're at that point in the game, you're probably just gonna win anyways. So you're saying we should cut the swell turn? Yeah. Okay. Um, and then after that, I don't mind cutting, like, one through the breach in one hour. Sure. Seems fine. Let's run it. Ooh, if we were... Maybe we should have been cutting packs if we were thinking of putting Chalice on one. Hmm. Mm. This is an interesting hand. <laughs> uh, the short answer is... Wait, cut packs if we're putting Chalice on... Zero. Ooh. Yeah. Uh, it's fine. Like, yeah, I, 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 I don't know if that's like a. I, I'm though. pretty sure we actually like. Should we just test out this London Mulligan and try to get chalices? I mean, yeah, sure. Why not? Let's, let's like if we can hit like if we yeah, have, we're so good. This hand is perfect. This hand is pretty perfect. Uh, I think we're just gonna ship that verdant. Oh no, no, hmm. no. We ship. Do we need the verdant? So like, it, it, so here's the thing: if we ship the verdant. We have to do stomping ground if we want to search for tomorrow. If we ship the Valakut, we're not going to have a Valakut in play. So then, like, ideally here, we want to go search for tomorrow, then Chalice. And then the following turn, use Sarseek. So, like, out of all the cards, the card that I actually want to ship is Valakut. Yeah, but yeah, then... seems fine. Then you're hoping that between a Lightning Bolt and a Chalice, that's enough? It, it probably it's, is. Yeah, it's okay. going to be enough. That's, like, I'm fine with it. And it's not I, like I do like that our opponent was like London Mulligan rule, playing Cheerios, cheesing people, like just trying to abuse it as as much as he can. Do you have an answer for the Chalice on Zero opponent? That's that's the real question here. Yeah, they, they do. do have some answers. So like, there's I think there's eventually a point where like we after next turn. What? Gosh, what did they have? I guess they had Hercules. Okay, Burnt and Forged Tender is... We're too good at this good. game. Perfect hand. I don't think I care about my life in this matchup. Mm, they, mm, they could, no, they could really. get you on the beatdown, couldn't they? Nah. Mm, the, like the, the Grizzly Bear beatdown? Um, well, you joke about... They, well, they've got that... Um, that Aegis card is not necessarily a zero cost because they can cast it for multiple mana and equip and it makes their creatures bigger. 
I mean, you're right, but... God damn it, I hope that's how we lose this game. <laughs> you both roll your fucking eyes at me. I'm trying to look at all the plays. <laughs> but we're also trying to make the statistical correct play, right? Like the one that like it gets us into that position as fast as possible. Right. Is Sram whenever you cast? Yeah. Yeah. So he still gets to draw. With he could still Sram. cycle if he wanted to. Yeah. yeah. And unfortunately, the Burnt Unfortunate has this lightning bolt on lockdown. I but think I think still we still. Cast yeah, it. we still cast it, but. You know. Yeah. Too that, bad it wasn't a ram spell because then it would be a colorless lightning bolt. Blap. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's fine. But yeah, now that now any mountain we draw is also a lightning bolt, so mm -hmm. and like none of these can resolve, so he can't pump the toughness on his guy. What are these? Is gonna cycle cards because I think there's one one of those retract bounces your stuff, but doesn't there's the other one bounces. There's uh, Hercules Recall is yeah. one that they play in the board sometimes. Oh man, I hope. Uh, they aren't dead, right? Okay. No, no. We need a. Uh, we need to ramp one. One. Uh, we get one land. Yeah, any any land mm -hmm. source. Right, is, I can dig it. Is a kill. Because they're conveniently at eighteen from two fetches. I was I was not fetching the Sakura with the Sakura because I wanted to see if we can get a land and then we can do it at instant speed. But yeah, no, that that's correct. Like. The downside here is that if we get a prime time, we'd want to be able to cast it, so... Oh. Yeah, maybe we just do... Uh, I guess... Cause eh, it, but, like, any... Hmm. Any land's gonna do it, too. That's unfortunate. Right. <laughs> <laughs> do we... Wait. Oh, hmm. Okay, never mind. I was just wondering if we scape shift to, like, kill his stuff, but I guess it doesn't matter. Right? Like, he has you three, can't. He you is, can't. He's it doesn't do anything. He needs, needs five other mountains. You need, right, you need seven right. mountains. Otherwise, we would just the, kill The him. basic... Uh, Concept of the deck? Yeah. Gosh, I hope he doesn't... If he hercules and then goes off, it's going to be a, a real bummer. Well, he's thrown away a lot of his stuff trying to find the hercules and find a way out. So I don't think he actually has, like, a good way out of this. There. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Still a land. Yeah, it's still a land. It's what we need. Well, it's just funny. All right, so escape shift. Um, okay, yeah, we have plenty of lands. So. Oh man, I hope his his four mana is not a summary dismissal after we put all of our Valica triggers on the stack. Nah, they don't even want to waste time. They're like, I'm done with this. All right. <laughs> all right. Our plan. Our plan worked. Yeah, I don't think we need anything else, though. No. No. Yeah. Obviously, we board that Carnage Tyrant in to kill him with. Of need, course. Need a way to win. Best card ever. 7-6 Hexproof Dinosaur. What more can you ask for? Has Trample. Can't be countered. Well, this hand looks like value. So this well, hand's, no green this hand's awkward because it has no green source. But I think Chalice is big enough deal to, that we should keep it. Yeah, I guess you can lead on Balakut and... Mm -hmm. Sure. This is going to be embarrassing when we never hit a green source. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh man, oh. we're not. Oh, they're on the play. Oh no! No, it's fine. They're just slamming the like. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. I mean, we have fear too. We chalice on zero still, because mm -hmm. they can definitely go off next turn. We do not. And then hopefully the damping sphere will stop them from doing anything. Like the double yeah. hate here. We just got to get ourselves a green source. Okay, that's good. That guy has to have the equipment enter the battlefield to draw cards, so he can current currently cannot cycle. Come on, baby. Green source. That way we can cast Surge, we can suspend one, next turn cast Far Seek, and win the game. Yeah, classic uh, red-green things. Just uh, keep cheesy hands and hope to get there. Man, these bears. We actually might die to the bears this game. <laughs> Gotta believe. Gotta believe. Oof. Alright, all right, opponent. Here's our no green sources keep. Please don't play more grizzly bears. Oh man, is he just gonna cycle Cheerios to get more Grizzly Bears? 
Well, I mean, you can get oh, more. Oh, he had to pierce. pay mana for that. <laughs> Oh, this is too good. Oh, man. We really need a green source this next turn. Pure dumpstered. I mean, we have a few turns to draw. I know, but in order to effectively cast uh, through the breach, we need it next turn. Maybe the following turn. Oh, no. <laughs> Daddy, please. <laughs> Not the belt. I won't ever be selfish again. Cheerios. We need it. Cheerios. Absolutely need it this turn. If we don't get it this turn, we lose the game. Our Lord and Savior Cheerios. Yes. Wait, is it? That's fine. It's fine. We can basic for us. No, we can get a center glade. Shh. Okay. Yeah. That's also a thing. So search for tomorrow. Uh, yeah, search and then we'll cast Farseek. Um, you cannot cast Farseek. When, oh yeah. Your damping spheres have text on Our them. Our own damping spheres. How do you betray us? Oh, I mean, we still can sus kind of get there, right? suspend it. I'm trying to see if it's better. No, because we're just gonna go for the win next turn. Right. Oh wait, we can't win next turn. Can we breach Titan? Well, I'm, next I'm turn? assuming that we like breach and then we can kill their guys, right? Oh no, we're just we're gonna win the game. Um, so we'll grab a mountain here. And then we'll just pass. And then next turn we'll... we'll oh, right. The Titan gives us two triggers on the ETB and then another two on Swing. Well, we're just going to get two Valakuts first. Yeah. And then uh, hit them for 18 and then the Swing will kill them. And as long as that White Source isn't a path... Um, if it's a path, we get to wipe their board. As long as he casts it smartly, I guess. If he responds to the Titan's ETB trigger, it's bad for us, but... I don't think they play path. Should we be playing around path? There's no way to play around path. Like he just gets you if he has. No, yeah, there's no we way. We can. We can play around it by playing. Um, well, I guess we would just. Yeah, yeah there's he, no. Way. He, no, the the how he plays path here is he respond. He would have responded right then. Yeah. Because you can, I mean, you just still get the two Valakuts, right? Like, yeah, that's... Well, that's the thing. Like, I was curious if we should grab a Valakut and a, a Stomping Ground. Mm, no, actually, in this in this scenario, you're dead. Oh. Either. But because we're at one, we would only be able to shoot down the two creatures anyway if they do path us here. Right. Yeah. So let's just grab the two Valakuts. Yeah. Just. Unless they're, like, crazy smart. And they like. So why don't, what's, the, what's the chance that they're just waiting for us to direct eighteen at them, and then no, because they would lose if they path. Yeah, because yeah. we we still like it, like path now is now that we're resolving this, like path doesn't do anything. They had to do it far earlier. Right, unless you don't have enough basic mountains, which you do. He doesn't even need basic mountains. You do for path. Oh, okay. That's fair. Yes. <laughs> Get him. Oh, this deck's so fun. Boy, so London was... I feel like you can't play decks that lose to Chalice with the new London Mulligan, or decks that lose to, like... Um, like, you have to have a way of answering Chalice very easily, or Ley Lines. Man, my playtesting is going to be completely screwed up, though, now. Because I got, like... Uh, I have Midland in two weeks... And mm -hmm. then I have yeah, Louisville next week, and I'm like I'm gonna be play testing on Moto with the London Mulligan. <laughs> so then, like I like already, I want to go. Maybe I should be on three chalices just because of the London Mulligan right now. Hey Zoc, thanks for joining, man. Uh, yeah, because like maybe even like I don't know. Th there's like ley lines that I could be playing over the surgicals right now that I could increase my chances of hitting them, which seems sweet. Yeah. Oh my gosh! Yeah, now now's the time to play your dumb, your ley lines, and your. Yeah, this London Mulligan rule. I don't. What about I'm like... already not liking how it's looking. Like it's making the non-games of modern happen more often. Maybe like so. It's also saying that hey, you're, if you're playing those decks, can be shut down so easily. Maybe you shouldn't be playing them. I guess yeah. Which like isn't a, that a good thing? It's a double-edged sword. Yeah, right? but there's some of those decks, but there's like decks that benefit from the London Mulligan rule that don't get shut down by it, and that like there's so and I don't know. Zach has a point. Just get good. 
Just get that's just <laughs> just get good. Get that's good and have. throw money at problems. Oh, this is play the best card in Magic. Your credit card. I think this is good enough to keep because we've got the pack for the Titan here. Oh yeah, no this sure? this so. hand is sweet. It's not sweet, but it, it, it's it it's has turn one range spell. So it's medium plus. This is my rating for this hand. Uh oh, mm, this hand just got worse. <laughs> <Did it? laughs> Oh, well, it depends on if they're Storm or Phoenix. <laughs> yeah. If it's Storm, yeah, we're... This hand just got way better. It did just get way better. Look at this. If they're Phoenix, we're, like, still in it. But if they're Storm, we're probably just dead. <laughs> yeah, they have the really strong Storm uh, Storm, and we're dead. Like, they just... Okay, they're Phoenix, I think. Some of them are playing fetches now, the Storm decks. Really? Kay. Yeah. Thing in the ice. <laughs> no! Oh, no, <laughs> we are super... We're ripping oh the gosh. lightning bolt. We're not ripping the lightning we bolt. We didn't rip the lightning bolt. Oh, right, my pray, gosh. Play Steve and pray to Steve. <sighs> Our Lord and State Savior Steve Tribell there. Come on, don't get there with five cards. Don't get there with five cards. Statistically speaking, you're dead. Shh. Okay. Believe. Yes. All right, that one costs... Uh, yeah, if they're starting with Slide of Hand, that's really good for you. We still need to draw a breach here to win. This is the other problem. I mean, yeah, we're with they. They still have more draw steps, so yeah. If they're doing this, I don't think we're dead. Yeah, I, but they can also just hold up remand here, and then like our play. No, no, no we're just ramping next turn anyway. So realistically, yeah. So. Well, so we got that card coming off suspend, right? Yeah. So we're only and gonna then get the five we're gonna mana. get mana from Steve, and then it's only five mana. Uh -huh. So we need through the breach. Yeah, this is what he wants. Give him what he wants. I believe in... Oh my god, you're just the worst. I believe in Steve. You could have let him die a glorious death. <laughs> Why? I don't know. Valhalla. A lot of these new cards, by the way, like, I'm in love with that Boros card. That card is so sweet. Alright, so Boros this... Card? Yeah, the 3-4 the flyer for 3. Oh, Feather? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, she's pretty She's pretty interesting. Like, a lot of the cards I see in the new set, I'm just like, these are a lot of, like, cute EDH commanders. Or, excuse me, commanders. EDH is not the, the popular nomenclature anymore. You don't think that Feather is worth that in uh, Standard or Modern? Oh, I, think, I, I like I that card. So the issue with Standard is you actually have good removal spells. Uh -huh. Now, to be fair, a lot of people are playing Cast Down right now. Um, and Feather does dodge that by being legendary. <sighs> right. Um, but... Oh, yeah. That new do yeah, Zoc, that new boar is sweet. And I've come yeah. up with a list of cards that I want to see played with it. I just... I still think that your best bet is just a big idiot like Gristlebrand. <laughs> like... Like... Let me, let me... I don't know. Gorio's Vengeance on the boar seems pretty adorable. No. Here's the card. Here's some of my uh, my favorites for the boar. You ready for this? Hornet Queen, right? Hornet Queen's good. Myogen of Infinite Rage. But the Myogens have to be cast to have their divinity cast. Oh, do they? Yeah. Scratch that then. <laughs> no, if you played it from your hand, is played the same as cast? No. No matter what we do here. Or, right? uh, excuse me, it is. It's All right, what about old, so. Sylvan no matter, Primordial? No matter what we do here, yes. right? how much... Um, they, they have one Desperate Ritual in hand already. Oh, you know they have a Desperate yeah, hand? Yeah, they revealed it with Peer Through the Depths. Oh, okay, yeah, you're dead. Yeah, we can just scoop it up here. Yeah, if they didn't have a Desperate Ritual here, though, they would only have two mana, so you give them Past in Flames and Manamorphose, and they can uh, only go to three, mm -hmm. and they can cast Past in Flames, but, but not have mana left anything with it. But since they have a ritual in hand, you are just dead. Man, it's like you brought a storm expert here. Yeah, so... Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm pretty sure it like, puts... Uh, where do they do it? They cast Peer Through the Depths and splices a uh, Desperate Ritual onto it. And then it's, okay. not, in, it's not in the graveyard. Oh, so. Splice the Ritual on. Yeah. Okay, that's spicy. So we're, do we're done here. Thanks, man. I appreciate that. Yeah, I had a blast over the weekend uh, playing the deck and having a lot of fun with it. So uh, I want the Surgicals, the Chalices... Um, chances are fine, yeah. Um, it's not great, but it's like... D-Spheres are decent. Mm -hmm. And I think I want the Abrade as well. For the additional removal, yeah. Mm -hmm. 
once more, I do not like three mana interaction. Uh, well, okay, no. We're on the play here. I feel like we do so want the, it. No, yeah, it is a good hedge against them bringing in Empty the Warrens. Mm -hmm. um, I don't mind if we only bring in, like, one, because I'd... Uh... If that's where we're at, but like this is essentially the same thing as like the the other combo decks we played mm -hmm. against tonight. It's just board out clunky stuff, board in efficient mm -hmm. interaction. That's probably all we're doing. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks for subscribing, Brent. Really appreciate that. I think you are my fifth subscriber. What subscribe? <laughs> Subscribing's an the option. Fifth. Uh, huh? Yeah, he's Brent the Fifth. Brent the Fifth. Sound sounds like some like old timey you know like medieval lord now. I think we're okay with this. We're gonna lead off with a valet cut, go into a damping sphere, and then go ramp ramp. Um, let's see if that gets us there. Yep. And if they play a lord, we'll sweltering suns them. That is the truth. Now, Damping Sphere is not just a hard win, I will let you know. They they no, can... No, they beat that card yeah, pretty you, easily. You have to... So, like, the thing with permanent... Aw, uh, yeah. Survivor number six. Wild Ooh. Crow! Woo! Wild what? Crow! I didn't know it was an Who's option. that? Who would this Wild Crow person be? Yeah, I, uh, but when I became an affiliate, I could start accepting subscriptions. Wow. So, I was, like, super excited. Which, uh, you can subscribe with Twitch Prime using your Amazon Prime account for free. Yes. Essentially giving free money to your favorite streamer, which you have to be honest, look at this face. Um question. No. Can you win on turn two? Um theoretically, yes. Uh statistically, very slim odds, but you can go um land ritual, manamorphose, lord, ritual, ritual, morphos, gifts and given and Should we play against it here or advance our board state? Because we can advance just advance your board state just because you On have the, play, the swell yeah, turn the, the advancing our board state is fine here. Because they're like if they have it, they have it. Like Yeah, sometimes you get it. Like it, I mean, they have to have like Yeah, it's so it's Ritual, 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 morphos, morphos, gifts, plus lords. So they literally have to have those exact seven cards in their yeah. hand. And they had to have drawn one, yeah. So, like. Um, so the question here is do we just wipe the board or just drop uh, we, a Sakura and a d Damping Sphere? Yeah, we play Sakura and Damping Sphere. Obviously, mm -hmm. Sakura first. Because I think Damping Sphere counts it does. itself. Yeah. It does. It certainly does. Um, what a jerk. I think we're still going to shock ourselves here. <laughs> I just want to get, like, so, like, next turn we'll be able to Our Promise, and I really want to make sure that Our Promise is worthwhile. Ooh, That's, I, sure, all right. I mean, life total does actually matter sometimes with Storm it, it when does. you're messing with them because they can do, like, uh, like Grape Shot, Remand Grape Shot at some point in the game, like, if you've screwed with their graveyard or whatever, but... Actually, I really, I like this play just a little bit because, like, they gotta, I mean, they, like, the Dampening Sphere might, just buys you enough time. Mm-hmm. And if they're just like, all right, they got Dampening Sphere, you know, sling a couple spells into it, and then, like, get some goblins. And then, you know, Sultering Sun is back up. Especially so, if they see Dampening Sphere and then they overcommit on um, dudes. So, uh, with Dampening Sphere in play, um, my first priority as the Storm player is to just search for, yeah, things like a braid. Um, uh, oof. So... They can kill us now, um, mm -hmm. <laughs> but that's just the, the, the danger of playing things like Damping Sphere. Yes. All right, so yeah, definitely, like, can we... Oh, we so, can't put the Cinder Glade into play on tap. That's no, awkward. we can't. Well, I if think we, we have to Sweltering Suns here because... Sweltering Suns and kill their dude is... Yeah. Well, wait, we can... We can also our. We can our and get... You can play the Cinder Glade, our, get a Malakut... And a mountain. And, and a then mountain. shoot them for a six and then shoot the uh, thing. Cause it, it well, okay, so what I'm thinking is um, Cinder Glade. So Cinder Glade puts you at five. Mm -hmm. So what you can do here is you can Sweltering Suns. If they have remand, they remand your Sweltering Suns. Then you can Pact for a Sacra Tribe Elder, play Cinder Glades, Sack the Sack Elder, kill their guy. Because you'll good. be you'll be at five, so you can so we can do two interactions and be uh, we'll lose to remand a blood moon, but I guess that's okay. They don't really play blood moon much anymore. 
I haven't. I mean, like it, it's modern, so people can just you people know just do whatever they want. Yeah. <laughs> so he can I, board I, I like this play a lot. I like this line but... though. Oh. Okay, repealing this guy. All right. I mean. All right. That's so fun. that was. Uh, yeah, but it's it is awkward because that means that the hour of promise would have just been like way better, but. I guess we're still. On. I mean, he still has to can't spend two mana next turn to cast. Yeah, the, like, and a... we're we're now set up to like Titan next turn, right? You know, the only thing I'm questioning is whether or not we do still Pact for the Sakura. Um, um, oh yeah, yeah, no, Pact for Steve. Play Steve because then you just have like a It'll loaded just, gun on the board. Oh yeah, it's gonna so just take a turn be, off yeah. uh, for us. But I think that's fine. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so. I think having that loaded gun on the board is worth it. That's fair. Forgot about the instant speed Volica trigger that you could right? with having him. Yeah, the new Dovin seems really sweet for, like, um, it's the one that causes tax effect, right? Yeah, taxes on creatures, enchantments, and artifacts, mm-hmm. if I remember correctly. That seems real sweet. Yeah. I, I would not be surprised if we uh, saw that one pop up in uh, a couple of the modern what, taxes. God, what does he do? Like, if he casts a spell, I'm pretty sure we're just popping the Sakura, but if he doesn't, then we're just going to Right, anything he puts on the stack. Because the yeah. No, yeah, now... Right? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Because he can't respond to it. Now he has to go off organically, and he's just dead next turn, right? He's not dead. We have to pay for Pact. Ah, oh, fudge. Yeah. Well, we couldn't even kill him with an Hour of Promise anyways, right? Um, no, we could, no, we, we could, uh, no, we could nine them. If we draw a land, we would have 18 them. Because we could have Hour of Promise for two Valakuts, play Steve, shoot him for nine. If we had another, um, land, we kill him. But, uh, uh, tax is going to be good and, uh, decent and standard. Yeah, I'm excited. Like, I, any, anytime there's a standard format that I can play and hate, that's when I <laughs> really enjoy myself the most. Yeah, okay. Come on. Um, there's the... People were talking about how, um, th- what's that new creature that, uh, has that, um, makes them discard a card and then has the mini, uh, rack effect? Oh, the Davriel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The new Planeswalker, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that guy. Oh, man. Be... We're good at this game. I think we hold this. Do we really? Yeah. yeah cause oh, because we... you get double Valica. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We, we can, our promise, next turn, get two Valicas in the far so you can shoot them. So we're just going to hold this. It's like we left. Yeah, see there. Don't. We might be dead. Don't have it, opponent. Don't. Don't do it. I'm pretty sure they have a great grape shot last turn. If they. If he's got the past in flames, we're getting smoked. Darn. So now he can have just gifts and give them to. Your three cards are blank. Okay, we're dead. Yeah, we we, <laughs> we could have really used like just like a fetch land there would have been great. Um. To just win the game, mm-hmm. but like, unfortunately, we just didn't hit it, and like the. I mean, we tried our best, right? Like, yeah, for sure, for sure. Like this is a. I, I feel like Storm has a very good matchup against uh, the Volica style decks. Yeah, this is definitely the match that I like really want to be on the play. All right, and, we can and we um, can just let him have it. There you go, bud. You did it. So it's okay. Still two one. See if we can end this four one. Yeah, like, having enough hand hate for sure. Like, I, I can understand where that's coming from. Um, I am curious if this does push uh, Rack back into a relevant tier, though, as far as play goes, because it it's exactly what they want, right? Like, a hand a hand hate and it's the built-in Rack effect. Oh, yes, yeah, it's the Dove Reel on it. Yeah, he's like a he's like a, a weaker version of... Um, this hand seems cool. This hand's a little awkward, just for the record. Is it? You can go turn one search. Oh, but you turn. But you can't do a turn two, Steve. So I'd almost rather just do Valica and then Sakura, then cast search for tomorrow. Oh, okay. Still good. You don't want to just run hot and just rip the land off the top. Yeah, can we? Can we? Just... I mean, we can if you guys want. I, well, no. no, you're the one that plays this deck far more than I do. So, I, your your first instinct is by far probably the better one. I'm always search and pray, but if you wanna you wanna Steve, then hey, search. that's what you guys are here for. We're here to search. Search and pray. <laughs> He's just looking forward to the standard that is not decided by one card staying on the field past a turn. Thank you, Carnage Tyrant. Like, this is... They're down to four cards. I think he's re- referencing Wilderness Reclamation. Yeah. Shh. That card is... I hate that card. That card is <laughs> disgusting. I've, 
<laughs> so like you can do whatever you want with that card. Like yeah. I was I uh, I was playing with uh, Kyle on MTG Arena and uh, we built a teamer thousand year storm deck using reclam um, wilderness reclamation and using electro dominance to cast uh, the thousand year storm at instant speed and then just using all of the mana that wilderness reclamation gives you to kill your opponent. It was pretty adorable. I mean, clearly the Nexus. Ooh, of yeah, Thief of Sanity gonna... is also is also uh, very criminal. I I'm fine with Thief though because there's a million different ways to answer it. Like shock. when your opponent, yeah, like you have Shock, you have Lava Coil, you have. Cast and I wasn't down, serious. Like... We could have made the good. No, play. no, this this is the correct play. This is fine because uh, it ends up puts us on the same spot on turn three, uh, where we're just going to be ramping right. So it's absolutely fine. But we're gonna rip it right here. We didn't. All right. Like, like honestly, uh, Thief of Sanity is like another is one of those things where it's like, you you lost the game bef before the thief. Like, like if the thief if you have a two two flyer smacking you, like it gets a lot of advantage. But you probably were out of cards before then. And the thief uh, is just, oh, oh no. no, the hard counter. No, no, this is fine. They only hit four wooded foothills and three bullets. So. It's still pretty hey. not great. Hey, shh. it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> Oof. All right. Maybe he's the version with creatures that's significant. We've got worse. four stompings, four mountains, and a cinder glade left. And we have uh, all the valleys. We have a prime time to attack with, though. We, we do. But nine we, bullets. But we... Uh, yeah, this is fine. So do this. Valakut. Cool. It's a good draw. We can get him next Sakura. turn, right? Do we get forest with the Sakura, or are we just going? Yeah, no. You need the second this? green for prime time. Oh well. Yeah. No, next turn, like uh, or next turn, we just gonna, yeah. Ooh, can we? We still have prismatics, right? We do. Okay, so if we get okay, that gives us an out to increase because we have. Yeah, we're fine. Yeah. I'd go next turn. You want to go next turn? Hour of. Well, well, the question is whether or not we want to get. I think we're gonna grab a mountain. So like the mountain puts us in the position. Oh my gosh, mountain. <laughs> Opponent, don't do not do it. Yeah, you might as well in response because... So I think we want to grab the mountain here just to have as many mountains as Does he only have two cards play. in hand? He yeah, does. he's down to two cards. All right, yeah. I'm but not... he could just win the game right here. Yeah, yeah, it's very <laughs> possible. But, uh, I think we're going to do this because then, a uh, worst case scenario, we can hour of promise next turn, right? Mm -hmm. um, and if we rip like a stomping ground, we can prime move Titan. Do we hour of promise? Oh, I'm a, the hour of promise lands come in tap too, don't they? They do. All right. I was going to say, get two um, fetches. Oh, they hit a mountain? They hit a prismatic, so that's gone. They hit one mountain, and, and then a stomping. And so then a we're at six. Yeah, I agree with you, Zoc. Five. I kind of, like, I stopped playing Arena for a second, because every time I get into a match... Oh, oh no! <laughs> oh, that was the second trap. That's uh, another stomping gone. Uh, oh. We still have a prismatic. Okay, okay. And they also hit a cinder glade. Oh. We can fail and the... F mm, uh, <laughs> We're just dead here. We're, we're going to three cards in the library. We are... We are oh, opponent! What are you doing to us? Yes. All right, uh, Titan, on the field. Let's go. No search. We can't search. kill him, right? Let's... Um, no, but we can make believe. We have how many cards in our library? Four? We I can, can search two. and not grab it, right? The four cards are in our yeah. hand, Jay. That's you can fail to find with it. What do we even have left? Oh, I have Prismatic and the Titan left! I can't do anything. If I draw exactly the if Titan, they don't have. Yeah, if we draw Titan next turn and cast it, and they, oh, don't they can have just kill the Verona us. Spells. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> they, they won't think about it. They won't think about it. Uh, They're not going to realize. <laughs> Opponent, you're gonna you're gonna have something else you want to cast, like a draw spell. No, don't. <laughs> Why does he have to do it like that? Is it a, what, is it a moss? It doesn't matter because we because we don't have land. We don't have the yeah, mana to cast. Money, so. <laughs> uh, okay, that's uh, so rude. Okay, how do we beat Mill? We, we don't. Um, surgical. I don't know. <sighs> how do we? No. You board in some four fours for four and a seven six with hexproof and hope that you have some beaters to kill him. <laughs> Yeah, bring the chalices don't do anything. What are you gonna chalice on? We get chalice for one and chalice for two. Ch on one hits the. Um, There's hits. like a bunch of like one mana interactions they mm -hmm. have, and then on two it can hit glimpse. I think that's, like these are out. 
these are out. Maybe we don't. Yeah. Like we just want to pressure as put as much pressure as we can on the board. Yeah, you just wanna you wanna turn up the speed. Maybe just play it um play it as a one of. Yeah, if we had we Eldrazi, that would be back? that would be the best. Do we? I don't know. So like packs increase the chances of you having a threat for through the breach. Yeah, that's fair. Okay. So I think this is what we're gonna do. He's gonna bring in four uh, three creatures and a chalice. Sure. Yeah, I'm good with it. Oh, they do play the um the three mana enchantment. The don't they? the artifact the Mesmeric Orb. Yeah. Yeah, but I mean, like, they're going to get a... Or, oh, are you saying that we bring in... <laughs> sure, bring in a Rex Sage. Uh -huh. Got him. Yeah, I All mean, right. Rex Sage is still a beater. Yeah. It does. It blows it up and gets us in there. Oh. Yeah, we, yeah we, obviously we should have an Emrakul. Yeah, well, you are a Breach deck. Why don't you have yeah, one right, Emrakul? Yeah, what are you doing? You know well, how drowsy like, you're through the Breach? Isn't Emrakul on the artwork? God. Oh, not no, this one. one. Okay. Not this one. All right. Uh, we're still mauling. Uh, yeah. We'll keep this. Then you ship. Uh, I ship Ooh. Summoner's Pact. For sure. And then I think a ramp spell. Oh, you have to ship two? I mold twice. Oh, I don't like this rule as much as I thought. Uh, I ship Summoner's Pack. And. Okay, so in the perfect world, on two, you Steve. Three, you. Far seek. We could ship through the breach. That's what I'm shipping. And then just go ramp twice. Yeah. Yeah. Ramp twice. Hope to hit land drops. Oh, I'm not looking forward to it. We're gonna do like Cinder Glade and then an avert and they're just gonna be like triple arc of trap. Like, all right, we're dead here. We're dead here. Unstable sleighs. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> All right, I like it. How did our opponent do on Melon? Oh, they kept a seven. That's classy. See, that means we're gonna die. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? At least, listen. I am never mad when I lose to Mel. I can't. I get am. Mad. I lost to Mel. Hey, right, God, we got we got rid of those bolts. <laughs> oh, Prismatic's good. Prismatic is very good. We just got to get ourselves into... All right, let's see how many times they hit us. All right. Oh, man. How many archive... One. Oon. Archive trap. Ah, ah, ah. One, two... Okay, they hit one Valakut and three mountains. Oof. Two archive traps. Two archive traps. <laughs> ah, ah, ah. You're so dead. I wish. Listen, I played that that mill deck for a minute, and I never got. I. You never got double archive trap. No. <laughs> oh. Dude, he's gonna play a fetch land mills for six. That's then we're what down to twenty cards. Oh, uh, luckily it's not a fetch land. It doesn't need to be. So, like, okay, there's another Valakut. We really need to keep our other two Valakuts in this game. You can't get mad at losing to this. You can't. Listen, he took a... Please be a land. All right, that's not a land. We really needed that to be a land as well. So we could have gone Sakura into Prismatic. I just don't know if we're going to win. All right, we he could run out of gas... So, like, we're on the beatdown plan now. That's it. Yeah, but the only problem is, is every time he plays a land, we lose three cards. Right. And we only have how many cards? Uh, we're down to 20. Okay. We're down to 20. Um, Things aren't looking great, folks. Gosh, if he has another surgical and he surgicals, are we out of prime time in the yard? Could you imagine if we had a surgical prime time right there? Uh, they could have hit us with the old dumpster city. Uh, I, I would just cry. Actually, I mean, he's looking at our hand right now. If he has another surgical, if I'm him, I do it. <sighs> he's like nice cards, nerd. So we're just searching now because we just need to not give them another archive trap if possible. All right. So we have enough land still to still cast things. So we have enough threats to potentially win the game. You get a forest here. 
Yeah, we're going to go with four. It just said we have prismatic in hand, so I guess it doesn't necessarily matter. No, I, I, I mean, the prismatic's uh, irrelevant it's now. It's dead. Right? Yeah, it's, yeah, they're just a dead card in our hand. Um, I just meant if they could keep us off forest, but we have it already. Yeah. Yeah, we don't have to worry about that. Mm-mm-mm. There's a mission briefing. They're going to archive trap us. <laughs> What's that do? <laughs> They get to, it's like a, a, a instant that's a Snapcaster Mage uh, effect. So you get to choose an instant or sorcery in your graveyard. You get to Can cast you cast effect. alternate costs with mission briefing? <laughs> Is this still game two? Uh, archive trap us opponent. He, he double archive. <laughs> We're so dead. How many cards oh, we got left in this six. library? That's a fetch, fetch land. Oh. That's a fetch land. We're dead. Dude, why are we playing that deck? That deck's too good. <laughs> the, uh, like, someone went uh, to day two with Blue Black Mill. Why wouldn't you? It's, like, doing great in the format right now, so they're just, they're, they're dominating it, so. I'm not mad nice at that. Nice Werb invention. Mill you for 39. And they just play, like, all, like, the main board, like, Surgicals, right? Like, they just don't yeah. care. Well, Surgicals, like, actively good in that deck because you hit so many cards with your big mills that you can very easily just rip them apart. Right. Man, right. I like that people are really taking taking advantage of this rule change and they're just like they're like time to bring what, what can we dig out of the old modern dumpster to see what I'm telling you Grishelbrand has to be super sweet. You guys want to play Grishelbrand next? Fuck yeah. <laughs> oh, this is a family friendly stream, Jay. Oh, my <laughs> yeah. bad. Hex. Yeah. <laughs> Fudge, yeah. <laughs> H E double hockey stick, yeah. All right, we're not. It, this, I didn't say this was a good Christian stream. I just said family friendly, okay? Oh, please be discard. Please be mono black discard. Please be mono black discard. Like so. Why would you wish that? <laughs> oh yeah, man, this guy gets it. Let's see. I can't reach him. In bloody gets it. Yeah. That's why you load it up on your phone and you keep it next to you. That's what I did, and we bumped the viewers. All right, all bam, right, bam. <sighs> what do you guys want to play next, by the way? Dude, I, was on, I wasn't joking about Grishel Brand. <laughs> okay. I right. wasn't either. I think that's okay. pretty nuts. With that's, what we're on. Again. that's what we're on. It's either that or we do like the weird version where instead of like straight Grishel Brand, you do the version that like brings back... Um, um, brings back like Flip Jace and... Um, uh, that Orzov guy. Oh. The, um, yeah. The, like, Aspergif, or Aspergorios. Argul's Bloodfast? <gasps> what? Ooh. In God's name is going on over there? Pay black and a colorless, pay two life, draw a card at the beginning of your upkeep. If you have five or less life, transform it. Oh, yeah. We going down. And then when you transform it, it's a land that sac generates black or sacrifice a creature, gain life equal to its toughness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Don't really know what's going on, opponent, but I trust you. I don't know, but we should this play our hand really hard. slow so I can see what happens. <laughs> uh. Ooh, yeah. Guaranteed going for devotion. Going to see some pack rats. That might be real life. Okay. Well, we're going to go Prismatic here and then drop a Sakura. And this... Ooh, are we going to tap, tap this Windswept Heath for land? We enough? sure are. Dude, this is the hottest play. Conserving life totals. No, I, I like uh, keeping bullets in the deck. Yeah. yeah. What I what I like to see here is that we actually get some action because this hand is not, not action bank. What I want is to draw Woodfall Primus. That'd be adorable, right? I can't. This can't be Shadow. Shadow wouldn't be playing uh, this much without like already having no. It's losing a bunch of life, so it's most likely devotion as. Imp what's the What's the name of that? In, there's that other two man enchantment. The build around one. What is this one? Uh, it's a two one for two. When it enters the battle, when it dies, create a colorless artifact token treasure. Okay. What is going? On? I don't know, but. I bet there's a wonky combo in here, and MTG Goldfish is to blame. <laughs> <laughs> He's to blame for, like, every wonky combo. All right, we're fetching here. We're really hoping for... 
Titan Repact. We're so good at this game! Jeez, old Pete's. Alright. Do we breach in the Titan? Oh, yeah. Okay. We get to hold this forest for afterwards? For extra shots? No, they're just dead. Oh, man. They're just, they're just dead right now. Shh. Don't, don't let your chat know that. No, I guess what we're going to do is do it so it's... Uh, in, so we can do it in combat. We can crack the windswept. Sure. So. Same damage either way, right? Well, just the ones at instant speed. It, it's less damage, but it, we can do it at instant speed if necessary. Mm -hmm. So we're going to throw the breach here, drop a prime time, go get two Valakas, shoot them for six, swing, get two more Valakas, and they're dead. Man, Valakas shooting off of other Valakas sounds like a good time. <laughs> why? I never understood why they didn't make this a legendary mm -hmm. land. Don't be yeah, ridiculous. like all of those lands from Zendikar should have been legendary. Don't be ridiculous. Like this is clearly a place, and this effect is clearly bonkers. No, what they thought to themselves when they made this effect was, "Hey, there's no way anyone's ever going to put multiple Valakuts into play with six other mountains. It's terrible." No, what they what they <laughs> didn't. I mean, to be fair, they. Put that they put prime time into the same format. That they, was a deck. They didn't even think standard. about it. They didn't even well, then it. like wasn't there was a Farseek was in that format too, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah, <laughs> like the the like it's it, it was essentially like the, uh, it was scape shift less scape shift. Bam. Is Bam. what the standard deck was. Bam. Like I think the only thing it was really missing was like the uh, was the scape shift. Yeah, we we uh, we played Sphere of the Suns. Oh, you're giving him a mana? What? Oops. Dude, I hope they somehow use their two, their black mana of any type, and they kill you. Like, like in response. They just like no, no. In response, we get to kill them. That's my favorite part. So if they try to do anything, we just in response kill them. <laughs> wow, well, you're a jerk. <laughs> <laughs> you're just a goddamn jerk. <laughs> Give them hope, then take it All away. Alright, so the yeah, only cards that I know want to bring in our bail offs. Yeah. I have no idea. You bring he in, played an Argyll's Bloodfest and a draft bring card. Bring it. Yeah, there you go. He played two draft cards. One of them wasn't even good. I played Bloodfest in standard. It's it's we, all, we all make mistakes. Yeah. <laughs> bro, you, bro, <laughs> Sweltering Sons. I don't what know. What if, if he I, is Pack We rats? don't even know what Trust in chat. Chat. Okay, no. if he's in Pack Rat, then we're going to cut the Scape Shelf. We're going to cut the Wood Elves. And I think we're going to cut. Um, no, I don't want to cut the Prismatic. I think I'm going to cut the Hour of Promise. Which is. No. Fine. I think I'm going to cut the Breach. No. I'm going to cut a Pact. Okay. Are you going to. You could probably just leave the deck the same and still win. But. There's a very good chance, but. Wow. Wow. He just wasn't. Listen, he wasn't firing on all cylinders. Now he's going to ramp up and he's going to be like. Now he's driving the car, and look at you in the back seat. It's going to be he, fine. Like, they're going to like dis make us discard a card, and they're going to be just like my opponent from a long time ago. Oh, I don't want to take the two walls. They don't do anything. I'll just take your bail off. You got it, opponent. I have a 4-4 <laughs> four, four in play. <laughs> I hope oh, he gets man. you with a Liliana on the veil. That's my favorite. No, it wasn't. That was the worst. When you have Liliana on the veil, and they're like, plus one, and they're like, bail off. And you're like... That was my experience. <sighs> Playing Jund against... Volica, and it's just like, yep, and every discard spell is just another frickin' Bayloth. Like, like I K-commanded them in their draw step, and they responded with a uh, Summoner's Pack, yeah. getting a Bayloth, mm -hmm. and discarding I was just like... That's flavor. Well, like, uh, I, I still flavor. absolutely love when, like, my opponent only read the Gain 4 Life portion of that. So, like, I, I, I was playing I was playing Modern, and it was at a PTQ, and my hand was... Uh, uh, I mulled, so I was at six. So I was at, th I had three lands, uh, two walls, and a bailoff. And I went, uh, land go. They went, land, uh, thoughtsies. I got, they're like looking at my walls. I'm like, well, I don't care about that. I'm just going to pulse that or whatever. Anyway, I'm like, okay. Mm -hmm. I'm going to take your bailoff. I go, okay. <laughs> Turn one, one, four, four. This hand's perfect. Keep it. <laughs> this hand's something. <laughs> We're going to keep it. But. I mean, yeah, I don't even know what the opponent's doing, so... Yeah. I don't know. If the opponent's on some sort of discard strategy, this hand is actually pretty discard-proof. Uh, I mean, if they do a turn one, if not. <laughs> <laughs> what are the odds of a turn one discard spell in Modern? Really high. <laughs> like, really high. I don't know. I don't know. We could bust out the hyper-geometric calculator and figure it out. See? 
Can I play the be- like? Man, can I just wait until second main for this? A lot of people keep doing that. It's really weird. To tap mm-hmm. his mana and pass turn. He's stream sniping you. He's listening. He was just what? trying to make you scared. This hand just got even <laughs> more discard proof. Hit us with the discard opponent. We're gonna draw a Volica and we're just gonna slow cut them. Ooh, I hope he wrench mines us right here. I really just hope he thought seizes us. So yeah. he has to pay two life so we can have a like, one? How can you play mono black if you're not playing discard, discard spells? spells? Like, What does that land do? Is it the graveyard that's one? The, no, that's the sack give two minus one minus one counters to a guy. Mm-hmm. Or four. Uh, uh, Maybe this guy's just like, he they, accidentally they, clicked the wrong cue and brought a standard You deck. like can't even click the that's wrong That's not even a standard card. From two years ago. Like you can't even accidentally cue is the thing. Like you make your deck for the format. Mm-hmm. Well, they're going to hit nothing. Dang it, now they see that they shouldn't thought seize you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I have no idea, Zoc. I have no idea what this dude is doing. I don't think anyone knows what they're doing. I mean, to be fair, our hand is going to give them time for us to figure it out. Is Burke Patrick a well-known player of some sort? <laughs> is this a new Burke hot deck? Burke S. Patrick. Like, is this a new deck we should be looking out for? I, I'm sure the, the Swamp Desert deck. Can we just lose this game and see? <laughs> we just lose the game to find out. What if he's playing like a super crazy combo deck and we're going to lose going even <laughs> on our I mean, entry. I don't think we have a choice to play slow or anything like that. Like we like, yeah, we, we're we gonna... might just draw more lanes and lose. No, we're not. You gotta believe, man. See? See? This game's so easy. We're so good at this game. This is a children's card game. <laughs> <laughs> this is a children's card game. You know, like, that's, like, the most difficult conversation I have to have when I tell people what, like, I'm doing. Like, people see it on my Facebook. People see it, like, they're like, so what are you traveling for? Uh, I'm going to go play Magic. Uh, like, You mean magic? that game that the people in my high school played and I made fun of them for? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's <laughs> the one. I like telling people now that the, uh, that the last Mythic Invitational was a million-dollar prize pool tournament. Yeah. The first place got $250,000 for... For playing a video game. Well, my thing is like would be the same thing with like uh, disc golf when people are kind of like razzing me about disc golf. I go, I just want to let you know, a guy just got a million dollar contract to play. Create two color. What do we do with all these treasures? Maybe we should have played Shadowstorm. <laughs> no, no. I, I mean, no, we're not going. Do to, but... do the treasures equate to some sort of any- with this deck uh, with this card in play? They can sacrifice three treasures to draw a card. Okay. So he's just like some treasures deck? He's, right. he has oh, like what, isn't there a treasures card that lets him win the game? There is. If he has ten treasures on his upkeep, he wins the game. Oh. It's like a five mana black enchantment. That's not that. Oh, but we could breach it in. Next turn. <laughs> Got him. Let's do it in response. Get you. Are we just playing at this point playing fetch lands? And yeah, we're just him? playing fetch lands and passing. Revel and Riches. Yep. <laughs> this is a Revel and Riches deck. Can we lose to it one time so this guy doesn't make out with a shotgun later? <laughs> I don't think that's how that works. <laughs> no. We gotta win. Oh, man. Oh. Listen, to be fair... <laughs> okay, fine. If someone else subscribes, <laughs> I am willing to die <laughs> to this deck. I agree, it was a little dark. But you know what? This <laughs> just, like, we got Vraska's Contempted. <laughs> oh my gosh, what kind of, like I think it, this guy just has like he owns standard, standard cards, stuff and he just wants to play modern. They like rotate it out and he's like, okay. If someone subs, I will intentionally not kill our <laughs> opponent. <laughs> use your prime. He's already subscribed, it's too late, you can't use him. I already give uh yeah, I usually give mine to Geek and Sundry, but I guess you get you get it this month. Yeah, yeah. You get it this month. Yeet. Yeet, yeet. You know, I was thinking about it. Yeet is just the form, uh, the northern form of yeehaw. Really? Mm-hmm. Yeah, essentially. Wow. Boy, these through the breaches are pretty good. But at this rate, we won't have to try to lose. <laughs> <laughs> Man. Oh, I hope 
hope that it's not just the Rebel and Riches <laughs> card, that he has some kooky combo where, where he, he makes just some... like he sacrifices guys, gets treasures, and there's. Nah, look, we're mad. This guy is just treasure tribal. Well, like, what if he just gets like a bunch of treasures, right? And then uses Door to Nothingness to win? <laughs> <laughs> Also true. That that would be stopped. Like they have two alt wins in their deck. They have Holy like two geez. door to nothingness and then a bunch of rebels. What if he just... puts Chromanticore on that three two? <laughs> <laughs> this so I mean, much... to be fair, door to... or no door to nothingness comes into play tap, so I guess that's fair. But door to nothingness seems like it's actually easier to kill them with. Is he gonna wreck a land? I don't even care. I mean, he's playing two two colorless. Yeah. Treasure map two, electric boogaloo. <laughs> can't, I can't wait to lose. <laughs> That's a lot of card drawn. Uh, to be fair, I actually think treasure map's a pretty powerful card. Like it's probably a Why little bit too swing? slow. Why didn't you swing, opponent? Because they're killing you with that enchantment. You could be on the beats. You could be on the beats. What is he afraid of? You? What are you gonna? F oh, you could through debris. He through might debris. have actually just misclicked through. Oh man, we are we are. <laughs> welcome to Garbage City. Oh my gosh, population nice. you. Nice lands deck. Boy, if you only had a Valakut. I just want a Pact or a Titan. I'm also willing to settle for a Woodfall premise. I'm so. We could hard cast Woodfall next turn. Mm hmm. Oh, Blowing up one of their maps and ruining their fun. What? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, no, I know what they're doing. Uh, it's what Conley Woods did in Standard for a bit. Um, what it's is the, it? Uh, it's the uh, Master of um, Manipulation, or actually maybe Master of Puppets or something. So it's a, it's like black, black, four, one, three with Fabricate three, and whenever you sacrifice an artifact, uh, your opponents lose life equal to um, its power. Master of Puppets, you said. No, that's a Metallica is, song, uh, and I love it. Um, doo -doo, doo -doo. Gosh. Master. Do we figure it out? Yeah. Oh, that. Nope. One more up. Oh, Marionette, Marionette Master. Master. Marionette Master. I see where you got puppets from. It literally has puppets in the artwork. So, 1-3 for 6 mana, 2 black, fabricate 3, whenever an artifact you control is put into the graveyard from the battlefield, target opponent loses life equal to Marionette Master's power. Seems like a whole lot of work. Yeah, but... I mean, but, to be fair, with treasures... You just crack the treasures. You, yeah, like, you play her, she's 4 power, each treasure is a four, is like a friggin'... Someone in the chat got star. it, by yeah. the way. Ooh. Phoenix got it. Phoenix Crest got it. Alright. Look at that, Phoenix Crest. Phoenix Crest <sighs> being better than we are. So much better. Uh, I call it out. Shh, shh. You gotta, you gotta give props to the subscribers. Right, yes, chat. Good job, chat. <laughs> Twitch chat, <laughs> being on top of it. See if they want to. Uh, see, they, they got to be on top of this stuff. I mean, to be fair, this this isn't like some Hearthstone stream Twitch chat where they miss lethal all the time. We have intelligent and classy people in our. I miss chat. lethal all the time. I'm not even good at this game. I'm pretty sure I'm trash. Well, no, Twitch chat, though. Twitch oh. chat in our... This chat doesn't miss. Oh, this this chat... This chat is on the up and up. I'm old and slow now? <laughs> what? <laughs> Boom! Goodness You're officially goodness. an old man. You got dumped. <laughs> you got dumped. You did cross that threshold, so... I did. I did cross the threshold. This I'll be 31 in May. God. Yeah, hey, you want to know what 31 feels like? <laughs> Trash. Horrible. <laughs> it feels like trash. It does. I still got like a year and a half left, so I'm gonna relish it. It's like Aw uh, yeah. The card library Ooh. Twitch add-on. I couldn't find it. Does it if anyone knows the name of it, I'm more than happy to get it installed. I just couldn't find it. Can we are we losing this game yet? Uh we're not winning. It's weird that like we're one draw away from absolutely dumpstering them and they've mm -hmm. had infinite time and they're just not like ramping up the Welcome to <laughs> get just crack it. He wants us to crack it. Crack it. Get, let him give him what he wants, Dewey. What are we giving? What what's going on? I don't know. We're gonna find. He out. field of ruined the wooded foothills, and now his field of ruin is not. Well, like it's not her. a it's not a terrible thing because like he still gets the land, right? No, he does not. Oh, oh, he does get countered. <laughs> Great. He doesn't get Great. the land. He, he cast um. 
I mean, uh, he turned it into a ghost quarter, I guess. What? I... Why would you like? You know your well, opponent like, is on Valakut. So like, it, what it, what happens with that is that if we play a Valakut, they're not getting a trigger now, though. So like, they're making us burn a trigger. I guess. I mean, it's, it's, a, it seems bad. Have to play these ramp spells in mind. He's at twenty two. Where's he getting? How do you gain two life? Oh, Vraska's I mean, you could contempt. have just gotten the other forest in your deck, right? You're not wrong. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. I like how this guy's just like. Man, I get to look at the top, top two cards. Scry two every turn, and then once that flips, he gets to start drawing cards. He has three artifacts. We're so dead. No, we're not, because it does, he doesn't have the the namesake yet. Yeah, but he's just gonna draw into it. Like we're getting hit for five here. Like we're getting real close to death, guys. Yeah, I mean, we would be dead uh, a turn sooner if he would have remembered to swing that time. <laughs> sure, would be. We would be at nine right now. It's true. Prime time. Win the game. One time. Prime oh time. Oh, yes. Speaking of Prime and Time. <sighs> Jeez, old Sounds feet. like a good time to We're... subscribe with Twitch Prime using your free subscription that comes from your Amazon Prime account. Just calm down. All six viewers are subscribed. <laughs> <laughs> that's, a pretty good, that's a pretty good rate for any streamer, though. You're almost at 100%. Yeah, you can take a card if I want. Zach has care. a good point. We're only playing against this because we put his <laughs> mill. We're at to, it's the karmic circle. You're not wrong. We lost the mill, which is just un. Put us to two and two. We're not going to win the matchup yeah, ever. Absolute losses. You're broke till tomorrow. Now let me teach you something about a credit card. <laughs> You can still subscribe with Twitch Prime tomorrow. Yeah. It's just it's whatever you guys won't be I'm streaming. Not, I'm not too worried about it. I won't be streaming this Sunday though. Just to give you guys a heads up. I have a uh, trip to hang out with some friends in uh, northern parts of our state. Ooh, like that kid rock song. What song? Uh, summers in northern Michigan. Oh, uh, no, I know you're talking about. I'm not by that the song. River. That song, that song was like the song for that summer. Yeah. No, no, never spend money you don't have. But when you do have money, if you want to consider subscribing to, when you have Jeez. disposable income, quit paying. <laughs> <laughs> I, I almost never do it. So like, yes, finally, we drew. Do we win right the now? Most prime of times. Yes. We got to breach that. Through them, right? Yeah, we're just going through the breach and win right now. That's really sad. They had all this time to win. They did. Hey! They were treasure mapping and... We would actually be almost dead if they didn't miss that attack. It's true. MTG bot. You got it. Only old people know about that song. God. Hey, I Who was doing this? Who's... Uh, it's Zock. Hey, it's time I have, for your first time out. I have never... <laughs> I don't even know how to time someone out, I'll be honest with you. I think you, as the streamer, you can like go over and click on their name. It gives you options. That seems like a big commitment. I'm not ready for that kind of commitment in my life. Just, whoops, permanent ban. Gosh. <laughs> how did that happen? I call old guys old and they banned me from the internet. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to get a Valakut and a Mountain. <laughs> mountain meow. Isn't that what happened in, like old Russia when communism took over. Man, I would have got all the valid cuts because look how many bullets you have just sitting on the sitting on the table. No, it's, it's fine. That's what, that's why we grabbed uh, the amount that we have now so that we have, we, we're just going to crack and kill them. So He's like, oh man, he doesn't have lethal anymore. Well, yeah, and he can gain some, or uh, he can do some stuff right now to reduce the damage. No, because we have three valid cuts to play. Each wooded foothills we cracked cool. them. So we're, we have an attack that they have to respond to. Right. Oh man, I hope he cracks all of his treasures and one of his deserts. I hope he cracks one of these play. treasures and just plays Angel's Grace. <laughs> <laughs> then it upkeep you Angel's Grace him. He's just got him on lock. You would like to report your mods? Dude, you can report my mods. 
<laughs> All right, I'm not really sure what we just played against, but we. But we open that treasure chest. I never open chest. treasure chest. I you just... should open up a treasure chest every time someone subs, and you got two subs today. Boom! There's okay, a treasure chest. Do you have treasure chests? I literally just sold one. That's why I have 169 tickets. So, oh, crack that treasure chest. Fine. How I'm much is a treasure chest? Really every time I get a sub, I will open a treasure chest. All right. Yeah. Boom. Open. Better be good. What is it? It's so bad. What is I that? need Lava Lanch. It's the hot new tech. It's so bad. What's it, what's it do again? <laughs> what's it do again? It's okay, That's so a we, rare. We got five play points. Oh, we got Death Pits of Wrath. player or Planeswalker. Yes. And each creature or that Planeswalker's controller controls. Yes. All right, so now every time that we open up a card in the treasure chest, we play best of ones. <laughs> it's a build around. Whenever a creature is dealt damage, destroy it. I can, can't be regenerated. If you really want me to build a deck around Lava Lanch, I could do that. I like, mean, it's not that hard, right? Exactly. Like, right. we're just playing a ramp spell. I'm just yeah, not you sure. You play Arbroath and Utopia Sprawl. And yeah. We're just like, ramp, ramp, ramp. Yeah, all right. So, Death. What is it? Ooh, death? Isn't there a, isn't there a um, an <laughs> Earthquake-style spell that hits Planeswalkers? Yes. Oh, man. It's going to be good. All right. So, now that, now that we're done with this bad deck. This deck's terrible. All right. I mean, we did... I love two. this deck, oh, by the way. Like just, just realistically speaking, the amount of times that I just like breach my opponent and just kill them on the spot was hilarious this last weekend. Or was it like just completely unexpected too? Where they're just like, oh, I actually uh, had uh, an opponent put me on the non-breach plan, and I was on the four escape shift plan, so they surgicaled my escape shift, <laughs> and then uh, blew up. Oh, no, they blew up one of my. Um, they blew up my uh, land, thinking that I wasn't on the breach plan. So then on my turn, I had a prismatic omen in place. So I was like, through the breach, get two valicates, get two more valicates, kill you. They're like, I, I probably should have hit that prismatic. I'm like, yeah, yeah you should. <laughs> nope, you made the right play. <laughs> and then the other time, they definitely it was a similar situation where they surgical the escape shift, thinking that I was on the escape shift plan. They removed my one copy, and then I proceeded to breach them and kill them. Did they like every time like look at your hand in library and go like? Oh. Yeah. They're just like, that was a mistake. God. They're just like, you think one of these vendors has glue I can buy? I'm feeling hungry. What? What? <laughs> Don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> what? What? All right, is that like a horse joke or? What? No, you know, people that eat glue, not very bright. Statistically, like, you ever seen any of the pictures? All right, never mind. Was someone playing Death Cloud? Mono black death cloud. It must have been. Dang, look at that. With solemns? Oh yeah, no, that's like the Caleb Durward list oh. that he was running one night. It's it's like a turbo death cloud kind of thing. It's. I always thought they needed cute. green for like the Sakuras. All right, so either we're we're playing mono black discard right now. I. <laughs> or I'll play whatever you guys want. It don't matter. Orios vengeance. Uh, what's I mean? Does chat have anything that they want to see? I Wait. know that there was another player that wanted to see Vanifar, and we uh, we did play that last week, but um, it wasn't a good list. <laughs> <laughs> I did not like that list at all. Stephen Olive was running what yesterday? Because I don't want to be like the mono black Death Cloud. Oh, no. that would make sense. Anything he plays, everybody plays afterwards. Man, he is like amazing at it. Like, I feel like that guy has had some real impact on, like, modern card prices. <laughs> yeah. Because it's no, like, 100%. every time you see some random card spiking, you're like, yeah, Saffron Olive, back at it again. Yeah, anytime. He's just like, well, yesterday, he's like, all right, great, I'm going to buy a thousand copies of Death Cloud, right? He's financing his own retirement right now <laughs> with, hi, everybody! Like that voice. Is that his voice? That's spot on. Is it? Not hey, all, sweetie boo. Saffron Thanks Olive. for joining I like that guy actually. I'm a big fan of Saffron. Yeah, I am like, too. I watch a ton of his content. Like anytime I'm just like wanting to. Watch I like the, <laughs> the deck tech snippets that show up on Facebook sometimes, where it's just like, in case you were wondering how you could kill your opponent on turn 13 with the most random combo you've ever heard of. <laughs> <laughs> Why are we not look? I will play the mono black treasure stack if you actually have a list, okay? Well, that's the the Marina Master list, right? Where like, could we build like a better list? <laughs> oh, do you really want to play? How many rounds of this do you want to play? It's it's gonna be standard so cool. archives. 
So there's so many like good treasure cards too. The very first comment seems like an EDH deck. <laughs> oh man, no! They printed Smothering Tithe and Ravnica Allegiance. Which whenever your opponent draws a card, they have to pay uh, two colorless or two generic, excuse me, or you get a treasure. So against decks with like Faith of Suiting and all this stuff, you get like piles of treasure. It's a four mana enchantment, so it's like really bad, but. You can play it with Electro Dominance and the uh, Sweetie Poo's got it. He Sweetie don't. Poo, Sweetie Poo's got What's it. What's going on, everyone? It's Seth, probably better known as probably Saffron. only known as Saffron Olive. <laughs> Actually, I only knew him as Seth. I could never remember his Saffron Olive name. Oh, um, it wasn't like it was. A when I go to family dinners, so this was the standard combo that Eric posted in 2017. Oh my sure. gosh! I mean, Conley Woods like was the one that's like working on it for like the entire time. But it's just always on that deck whenever he was streaming. If this is, I'm not. I'm not. Listen, you don't have to do this. No, we, please. we don't have the, to. Like, the only problem I have with it is I don't have. Uh, if there was a deck ready to go for modern, I'd, I'd be fine with it. Yeah, like just some list where you just grab. Yeah, and boom, Grixis treasure combo. All right, let's see if there is one Grixis. Treasure combo modern. Probably just put treasure modern and find something. Grixis treasure deck MTG goldfish. <laughs> is that a, is That's that a always thing? a good place to start. Oh my! We have Captain Lannery Storm. This is no way. This is the. This is this is what? Dude, this is definitely a standard deck. Yeah, yeah. It's an old standard deck. It's an old, adorable standard All right, all right, let's... Is this the one that he just found? So much booty, a treasure deck. <laughs> all right, what, what do we got going on here? Tap down, down, down. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> okay, I'm willing to play this, but we're upgrading this deck. Holy crap. Uh, this is not good. This is another standard deck, right? This is a standard deck. Yeah, this is a standard deck. All right, so what are the cards that generate treasures, right? So treasure map. All right, load up a... Is there some, like, weird uh, Heartless Summoning combo that we could do with it? I love Heartless Summonings. Anytime we can play that card. Oh, out. my lord. Okay, so the Marionette Master in play, it'd only be a three power, but it'd cost four. And then with Heaven Go Lich and the Mirror combo, eh, that's five to the face for every one, one mana. I'm willing to do this. Okay, so let's, let's, let's try this out. Let's build a deck. Oh. We we figured out how to use Heartless Summoning to good effect. So we'll have two combos in here. We'll have Heartless Summoning, and then we'll have the Marionette Master. We need just remember to never make tokens because they just disappear. Heaven Goal Lich. Which we'll one, which one's Heaven Goal Lich? So Heaven Goal Lich is blue black three generic for a four four that uh, you can pay one mana. To cast a uh, creature from your graveyard and Heaven Goal Lich gains their abilities, if I remember correctly. Uh, yeah, Heaven Goal Lich gains their abilities. Oh, it's for um, one mana you may cast a guy. Yeah, you target it. So the combo with Heaven Goal Lich in, in, that I used in standard was Heaven Goal Lich, you have Heartless Summoning in play. I tried to play a deck with this with uh, Eldrazi the other week. Um, and then you target a Perilous Mirror, so for one mana you get to shock them. Right? Mm -hmm. um, so we get to do that interaction, but we can also push it a little bit further with Marinette and we can do the artifacts with All this. All right, so we're a black deck, right? So we're just like so discard black spells. Blue. We are black blue. Yeah. Discard so, spells. But we do we want we want to have like some sort of uh, artifact theme with the Marinette Master. I would agree. Treasure, treasure like, map? That that Tezzeret seems cool because he makes essentially treasures, um, but they're not treasures. Uh, this is Tezzeret the Schemer. We're a little top heavy. Uh, yeah, you're not wrong. Well, that's what uh, Heartless Summoning is for. Because <laughs> it reduces the cost of your creatures by two generic. I don't think it makes them one one less, but. Uh, I think we're playing like two of these or three. Two seems fine. I don't know what his other abilities are. So he creates the, uh, the treasure. He also gives a creature neg plus X minus X, which is the number of artifacts we have. And then you get an emblem where at the beginning of your combat, target artifact you control becomes a 5-5. Five five. Well, that's pretty good with your Marionette Master to make it a 5-5. Five five. Well, Marionette Master's not an artifact. Oh, yeah, it fabricates. It makes artifacts. Boom, they boom. die to the heartless of All right. 
garbage. What else are we? Uh, so we treasure oh, map. We, we, we have to play treasure maps, right? Like that's a guarantee. Yeah, that's fair. Is there another good way to just make random treasures? Yeah, what was that card you were talking about? No, taking input, folks. Taking input. Whatever you guys want. Smother. Play scissors to animate your treasures. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not. Do it. I mean... I mean, you know... Are we playing Spell Swindle? It costs five mana. <laughs> no. No, probably not. Can I play it as a one-off? Sure. Yes, put yeah. it in. <laughs> put it in. <laughs> we're, we're building a crew here. <laughs> All right. Um, oh, this next going to be so bad. Can we, get, can we get some discard spells up in here? What about... Some um, thought seizes. Oh, we need, like, Inquisitions and stuff. You yeah, need... Inquisitions and thought seizes are probably pretty good. Is we don't... Not, not four and four. You... you no, I go most, I'm, you want six total. Yeah, I'm going four and two. Four and two, great. Uh, also, what's our removal package? Because I'm thinking we want collective brutality for like one or two of, and then uh, probably some fatal pushes. Yeah, fatal pushes. Um, do we have any like stupid creatures that we could use? Because I mean, like, so just big idiots that are blue. And Worm black. coil engine. Well, that's fair. So we have some two two tokens. Yeah, but then you're also only yeah. casting it for four. I mean, five. if we're already doing this, obviously we put the um, the thought not seers in there, and the uh, okay, we can, but it is just be aware so that's, that that's, that's adding a third color to yeah. the deck. It's, um, it makes a mana really awkward. Yeah. Don't play two color decks with colorless Eldrazi. Oh, we have to have Revel and Riches. Oh okay. yeah, Revel and Riches was the plan, wasn't it? All right, that's the two as a two of. I gotta see what this thing costs. Five, five, and five minute chain. Two. Two seems fine. What do we have for cards in this deck? Because we have like a million so far. So we want to like even out our draws, right? Like we're playing with serums. Mm hmm. How big is this deck list so far? We're already up to 44 cards. So we got like room for like two more cards. No. Yes. What? What? No. No. No, we have room for negative cards. Yeah, we got a row of cards. All right. So I we cut, cut the Tezzeret. Both the Tezzerets. The Tezzerets actually seems pretty solid. Is that our game? Well, okay, so, like... Well, we don't really have a good way of using him. He just, like... It's, like, four mana, make a treasure. It's, like... Okay. Eh. So he's gone. Where are we gonna... I don't are we gonna they... trim down the Heaven Ghoul Liches? Like, the Heaven Ghoul to... How do we get yeah. more treasures? Because Marionette Master mm -hmm. doesn't make treasures. We... Yeah, we need to generate more treasures here. Yeah. Yeah, like, I think with Revel and Riches, you have to choose one or the other. Revel and Riches does generate treasures itself when you kill your opponent's stuff, but... And with Perilous Mirror and have a Ghoulish, we're like, blah, 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 shoot that, shoot that, shoot that. <laughs> um, so what? what's yeah. the... You said there was a card that creates... Smothering Tithe is a white enchantment. Oh, yeah, it's... This one? Yeah. So whatever they draw a card, they have to spend two. That card's way better if you're no. doing something silly with Electro Dominics and Wheel of Fate. Can we can we but back up right? Because like I don't think we. Can do well, okay. So that Tithe card is good, and Revel and Riches is good. So what if we just took this in a completely different direction? Yeah, like okay. it, so like, like I think the if, Heartless Summoning deck is a different deck, and then Revel and Riches is a different what if, deck. What if we did the Tithe? What if we did the Revel and Riches? We had removal, but then instead we had ghostly prisons, and we just build a pillow fort, and then we okay. live in a pile of treasure. So we're getting rid of this combo, right? Mm -hmm. And we keep the Marinettes, and we, we're, we're going black-white pillow fort? Is that what you're basically saying? That's what I'm saying. So Okay. Sure. So then we need ghostly prisons. We probably cut the heartless summonings now. Oh yeah, heartless yeah. summoning can go too. So we're cutting those. I mean, we're playing these. Um, should we just be playing in Snaring Bridge? Yeah. Is that just better than the ghostly prison? No, you double down because some cards can't deal with artifact, or some decks can't deal with artifacts. Some can't deal with. Anything. I don't think we need Phoenix more than that. Phoenix can't kill a ghostly prison, but. Oh, that's awesome! We're calling this Treasure Fort. Treasure Fort, dude. All right. We're gonna okay. have to. Oh, should we right. cut our one drops and just play Chalices here, though? Um, because um, Chalice is pretty strong in the format right now. Yeah, sure. Because we have Marionette Master. If they destroy it. Well, I'm thinking that we probably just end up cutting the Marionette Masters out of the deck. Oh, but Marionette Master is an alternate win con that lets you get past uh, if they destroy yeah. your smother. Your um... I don't think we need four, but I definitely think we could. We should still play it. All right, sure. 
All right. So we're playing. We're on the chalice plan. We're on the prison plan. All right. We probably ah. need to put some like Simeon spear guys in here. Right? Starfield of Nyx. Ooh. I don't. I don't. That well, that one's going in a different direction. That's sort of the like yeah, the mass aggro. enchantment. Oh like, hey, what is so it, we're trying to build like no no. Prison. What's the one that's that forts for the number of enchantments you have? Uh, sphere of resistance. We need more enchantments though. Right, right. So you put in main deck rest in peace. Yes. Main deck rest in peace, and then main deck um, white ley line. <laughs> oh my lord. Oh my god. Never a fair deck. All right, um, he's. Uh, Reed Starfield. Ooh, do we want to do the Enduring Ideal combo as well? The Enduring Ideal, it takes a lot of cards, doesn't it? It's very expensive, too. Okay. Yeah, the reason they're usually able to cast it's with that one um, land, right? Yeah, yeah, the the adds white for each enchantment. Oh, yeah. the Sarah Sanctum, the Legacy card. No, no, no. The we just do it for devotion, the white devotion. Oh, okay, Nick those. Yeah. All right, I'm not. Yeah, collective brutality is still usually pretty good. Uh, treasure maps are good still with the Marionette Master. We're still like smothering tides. Still gets us stuff. Leyline of Sanctity is cute. Um, what's the other prison effect we can tap into? What's what's the five? So do one? we want ensnaring bridge? Um, just to prevent them from attacking here. Yeah, but like we can't really dump our hand that well. Can pull, yeah, put we a one a bunch of, of expensive stuff. Listen, that's fair. Can we put Starfield as a one-of just to make Zok happy? Look, it's whatever he wants, man. Yeah, put him in. Just one. He At said, the beginning of your upkeep, return on a target enchantment from your yeah. graveyard. Yeah, and then the what's the second part? As long as you control five or more enchantments, each other non-aura becomes a creature equal to... Okay. 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 It's, I'm in it's this. It's helpful essence that, like, return stuff. Yeah. But. We need more enchantments. What's the five-mana pillow fort enchantment? Come on, chat. Help me out. Five-mana pillow fort the so sphere of resistance. I already said that. Yeah. Right. So, so we were playing that was like what a one of, maybe a two of. Oh, excuse no. me. Uh, sphere of resilience. Sphere of. It can't be. I guess I'm just wrong. Yes, yeah, sweetie. Ooh, we can do the solemnity combo oh, in here too. Of... Wait, oh yeah, what was the solen what's the solemnity combo? Uh we get to play solemnity and then we have a uh oh, oh, solemnity plus the um uh what is that? Crixion on life. Yeah, and then we we can't lose the game. Yeah, because we can't get poison counters. Alright, put it in there. What is this madness? So we need an extra we like okay, so if um so say they just stop playing spells or they get a lot of mana. And it's a lot of treasures, right? Like, they can play around our treasures. Do we have a recurring way to create our own treasures? Um, no. Okay, we need one recurring... Is there a recurring treasure maker? Mm, we're at, like, max cards right now. Right, but is there a recurring treasure maker? Oh, Luma! Or Helion, too. I feel like one. we should be playing Nevermores and O-Rings. No, 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 no. In Rune Halos. Those are sideboard cards. Sideboard cards. Okay, I'm definitely putting four Rune Halos on the side, though. I mean, Rune Halos pretty good right now. Yeah, we could probably nick, though. Well. Trove of Temptation, three red. <laughs> Must attack your opponent's you control with at least one creature. At the beginning of your answer, create a colorless. <laughs> <laughs> Trove of temptation. Now, if we wanted to do one that probably just gets us straight to the like, there's always Admiral Brass's bounty, which gives you a treasure for each land you control. It's a sorcery. Admiral Brass's bounty. Or Brass's Bounty, excuse me. What? No, just Brass's Bounty. Oh, Brass's Bounty. This is outrageous. You're not wrong. Truly outrageous. For each land you can... 
Well, it's a... I'd rather have an enchantment we can throw out, though. All right. Just because, like, there's a chance... Like, we're already at 42 cards, folks. <laughs> yeah, but how much uh, land do we need a lot of land for this deck? I don't think so, actually. They, they only play 23 in the mono white list. All right, so what are what are our current black splashes? Is the rebel? Shouldn't we play some wraths here? Uh, they just they they can't attack us. We don't give a shit about their creatures. We got solemnity and facing on life. Like we probably can just cut the ghostly prison if we're playing solemnity on life, right? Like what's what's that doing for us? I'd rather have both or the ley line. I want to have that too. <laughs> Uh, we're only black for the rebel and riches for the Mary and the marionettes and the collectives right now. Is that I mean, fine? We should probably just cut the collective. Brutality. What are we on summoning okay. spirit guide for? Uh, to collect uh, cheese uh, stuff out to get chalice in turn one. Yeah, turn oh. one chalice for one. Got you. Okay. Um. I okay, mean, so we what... could just cut the rebel and riches. No, the no, no not, the excuse me, the marionette master. No, because I think they like we specifically started on this train. Was this we were just worried about being a treasure deck, right? Yeah. Yeah, so that's fine. Yeah, yeah. So we'll cut no. the marionette, but we probably should increase our rebels then to three. Honestly. All right, it's rebels like whenever they lose something. Whenever they lose a creature, whenever the creature dies. Put porphyry nodes in there. So like, if we're only playing porphyry nodes, I don't think we can play chalice. Yeah. Ooh. How good is Chalice right now? Really good. Okay. Are we always on Chalice on one? We'd almost always want a Chalice on one. Okay. Um. Like, is Revel and Riches and Treasure Map enough just to generate the treasures here? That's what I'm thinking. Well, Smothering Tithe is also Yeah, and, sm and the Smothering Tithes. Like, that's enough, right? Like, well, so the thing about Smothering Tide Oh, it's whenever like, they draw a card? Yeah, it's whenever they draw a card, and the more you have, the better off it is, because like they, they stack it every trigger. Oh. It happens every time they draw a card. So they're like drawing a card, and so like three of them are on the field. They have to pay six, or you get a treasure. And I feel like this deck, we can just run like four Field of Ruins, right? Oh, yeah. Sure, why not? Yeah, we can run the Shrines. Not the Shrine. Um, uh, uh, Nykthos. Nykthos. Shrine of Nyx. Probably as a two of. It's probably fair. Mm -hmm. And then we want ourselves um, just all the white black lands. Like, sure. Concealed courtyard. Do we need to? We, we should be fetching, right? Yeah, always. No, not always. <laughs> Well, that's the thing. Like, like concealed courtyard's the one I'm thinking of, right? Yeah, it is. The fast that's land. The fast land. Okay. Um, what is the godless black? shrine? Yeah, godless shrine. Probably only need two of those. And then um, basic why, lands. Why not four and then just or three and then we'll go three and three on the go twenty three lands. Sure. Um, no, not three and three because we have probably four. Four and two. You don't need that many Maybe black. Four and one. We're down to one just black sword, black spell right now. Oh, yeah, okay. We're like pretty much mono white. white. Yes, we're pretty much mono white at this point. Um, we'll just go to four guy Lushran. I think that's fine. Is there another land we should be using, though? Because um, we're, we're able to just really utilize our lands here. Is there a land that does anything with enchantments? Oh wait, I probably should have uh, stopped recording this a while ago. Ha. No, this is well, this is fine. We're just gonna merge the two uh, videos together at this point, then. Uh, I mean, you can always just edit it, right? Yeah, that's fair. Um, so twenty three thirty five. So we've got a couple spots here. Two, three, two, two spots. Um, rats. We just need some rats, right? Well. I was just thinking, like, never, like, essentially we're just building the Mono White Pillowfort deck, right? If, effectively. Like, we should be playing, like, the Nevermores and the O-Rings is what we should be doing. Um. Because that way they just can't beat us. I don't know about the O-Rings, but the Nevermores seem fine. Although I wonder if Halo, if Ruined Halo is just a better Nevermore. 
then let's move it. How about we put two in the main and two in the side? Sure. Obviously, your creatures that you play... I'm not sure how good the simians are now, though. Yeah, you cut it for SRAMs. For SRAM? For SRAM? Doesn't SRAM yeah. draw for enchantments? Yeah, well, there's better card... I don't think we're doing no, that. No, he does it for auras, I think, only. Oh, okay. Auras, vehicles, and equipment. I mean, yeah, we could just cut the simian spirit guides, I suppose. Nah, we'll keep them. I love simian spirit guide. I mean, I'll chalice it. We can also... Treasure map on turn one. <gasps> God, Ian. Rest in peace on turn one. They'll never see that one coming. Okay. Um, Ghostly Prison on two is actually kind of relevant as well. Yeah. Okay, so we're at a 60 card deck right now. Okay. okay. So what's our sideboard? Uh, there, hopefully so there's some paths that are going in that sideboard. Uh, we're definitely going up on the Rune Halos. So we're not we're not playing a normal deck. We don't we don't want normal cards, right? We put like Nevermore and some of the other stuff. Porphyry nodes, Stony Silences. Oh yeah. Oh, that card's funny with our treasures. Can't have the activation. <laughs> can't can't we? Okay. But we're just trying to accrue treasure. We're not trying to use the treasure. We're definitely uh, you know old man rich, right? Just like amassing our wealth. Suppression feels seems solid. Oh yeah, that card's silly. Um, uh, they also ran Aegis of Gods to give themselves hexproof. I don't think I think we could do better than that. We're on four they white ran, white lines in the main. They ran Nevermore on the side, which I think is pretty reasonable. Yeah, I don't know. like cheese people. Oh, like, you know what you should do? Playing ad -nos and you just Obviously, you just put the whole enduring ideal combo on the sideboard. Oh gosh, no! Uh, I want to actually try to win a game. Do we also do the Wheel of Sun and Moon? What's that one do? It's the it, cards going to the graveyard from your opponent, whoever you enchant. They go to the deck instead. They go to the bottom of it. Oh, that's cute. What is that for? Uh, additional? I don't know. I know I want to play some Wraths on the side though. Sure. Like like one wrath and one damnation. Why damnation? It's to split it up, obviously. No, we're just we're just gonna play two wraths. <laughs> um I think some O rings just has a good catch all. Yeah, that seems fine. Is there like any enchantments that absolutely hose mono red? Like burn that is like white ley line and then circle of protection. Nah, we, no, 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 a story circle, story circle. I mean, to be fair, if you just like, I honestly play think a two stories. Halo and a, if you have like a rune halo on one of their creatures and then a ley line in play, like they just die. Like <laughs> if we just play two story circles, we can just name whatever color that we don't can't seem to find an answer to, and go, hey, yeah, sure. I'm alright with it. We're stopping um, you. That's it. We're done. Fuck. This yeah. is hey language. Ah, uh, this is a pile. We're doing it. Chainers torment. You guys. Uh, okay, I haven't checked the worship. Do you want to worship? We have like no, no creatures. creatures. No creatures. You need creatures for worship to work. We also have solemnity, solemnity, and. Uh, Chainers. What is Chainers? That's the, the really wonky thing. What's it do, though? Deals two damage, deals two damage, and then we get an X two twos. And we lose half of our life. I'm going to pass on that one. That's yeah, although, if although, if you want uh, one of those sagas, which is really cute with Starfield of Nyx, um, the, uh, the, uh, God, the Ancient Reborn, or, he's, he's saying it's, it's a black four. Chain or something. Chainer's Torment. We were to pull out. That's not the right No, one. no, no. He said wait round one. Oh, okay. Not Torment. Not... Do you mean Edict? No, that's... That's... Those are only two Chainer's things, right? Chainer's Dimension. I don't know. Let's, let's run this one as... Eldest Reborn. Yeah, Eldest Reborn. That's what I was trying to think of. That one actually seems sweet because they sacrifice a creature, a planeswalker. Yeah, I played this card. First one, they discard a card on the next, and then you reanimate a creature or planeswalker on the third. And then with Starfield of Nyx, it's like a really adorable combo where you just bring your saga back. Okay, so you're thinking two of those in the side? 
Or are we one playing this two. in the main? I don't know. Honestly, I don't mind this in the main. We could cut like one ley line. The only awkward is awkward part is we have uh, don't we have a uh, rest in peace in the main? We do have rest in peace in the main. Oh, that makes Starfield way worse. But it does. You want to move rest in peace to the side, or are we just like oh we're gonna play against like Phoenix? I feel like we want to hate on them because we're gonna struggle against them. Okay. How about we move the um, eldest to the side? Eldest to the side. Ooh, you want to know how you really get them. With Rest in Pieces in the main, you could play the um, Fall of Thran saga, where when it comes into play, it destroys all lands. And then... The, Type the, it in. No, I like it. Type in Fall of Thran. Yeah, show, show that one. Put that on the screen. What is this? Destroy all lands. Each player returns two lands. For yeah, with bear. Rest in Peace, we're like... We're doing it. We're just... Oh, my gosh. Are you serious? I want to do this? Yes. I want to play that one of. Yeah. Okay. In the main? Yeah, sure. Seems good with Ghost at Prison, right? Are we going to... What are we going to cut? Oh, we already cut the... Uh, we already cut a ley line. So, I guess there that's fine. Perfect. Guess we're playing this deck, folks. Yep. Brewed it on stream. Got oh, him. man. We need to 5 0 with this. So, Saffron Olive plays it. And then... <laughs> And then, and then we can reference this stream to us make trying to do his voice. Oh my God! You mean you trying to do his voice? No, it's not just me. Everyone did. Yeah, I definitely did those. Chat did it. That's what makes it the worst. Oh. Yeah. But we also gave him a lot of kudos because every one of us. Yeah, everyone was just like, "All right, I like this guy." All right. Solemnity does stop the saga. So we'll have to make sure to take out. Oh, because one of the cards can't be put on it. <laughs> okay, so... Well, we won't always have the combo, right? You know, we have no, multiple we, combos. And we'll and have to make sure to have Chalice in play before we have Solemnity in play. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> we have a lot of Nambos going on here, folks. Listen, Chalice is always coming down before the Solemnity. Wait, is Solemnity... So, like, you put... Doesn't... Players cannot have... Players so, in permanence. So, to the first thing that happens is... What? So, what triggers the saga is putting the counter on there? It's your... Uh, when you cast it, it yeah, enters, it the, enters battlefield. the battlefield. And then at the start of your... Uh, or after your draw step. I don't think I forgot the other half of the Solemnity combo. There's Solemnity, and... There's Frexian on life. life. There's Frexian on life, so we can't lose. So we can't lose. Pew. We don't know how we're going to win, but we definitely can't lose. It doesn't matter how we win. We'll eventually get enough treasure. We we put our opponent in, this, in prison, and then we eventually tax them. What are we calling this pile? What was it? Treasure Fort. Treasure Fort. Treasure Fort. fort. Obviously, you name it your uh, social security number because you're on stream right now. Oh, yeah. Great. 8675309. Sorry, I don't know why that came into my head. But. Yeah, I didn't know why you sang it either. Because <laughs> you sing it because it's from a song. <laughs> oh. Dude, I can't wait to turn one treasure map. Oh, you, instead of calling it a treasure fort, do you want to call it Protect the Booty? That's so good. We're calling it Protect the Booty. Booty blocking. <laughs> uh, all right, all right. I'm good. I'm good with it. I need to change the name. You don't have... Yes, I do. <laughs> this is... This is... Uh, okay. This is... I'm not going to go over how we... What this deck has because we went through building it, so... Uh, this deck is going to be so weird. We go right to competitive, right? Yeah, why not? Because we got a lot of we don't board. we don't want friendly leagues. Well, we don't like honestly. This deck, deck is not a friendly deck, all right. Decks like this needs to go against uh, tier one decks because they have to like prey on make our rest in pieces. Yeah, like we don't it. want the random guy who's playing the like quad the like the eight reclamation sage deck with like <laughs> yeah. of autumns and rex sages and he's just like oh god. I'm... And we obviously don't want to encounter a mirror match so. Or uh, <laughs> or slivers with main deck harm harmonic sliver. Oh, can slivers be a thing? Um, yeah, slivers get, is a, a there's a. All right, all right, deck. hand one. 
it's it's essentially just another Aether Vile tribal deck. Yeah, is what it is. Like the only reason it doesn't really get play is because like humans is more disruptive. So we got dude. This hand is sick. Look at we this have hand is actually amazing. This hand is sick. Look, we have the combo in hand. <laughs> right. The no lands. Do we Simeon Spear Guide the Chalice on one? Absolutely. All right. Yeah. Every time. Ba da ba ba da ba ba. Mm-mm. Just watch the opponent scoop. <laughs> and it's like, I can't win anymore. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, we don't have that. That forest was def that was definitely getting a forest and casting into Arbro before that chalice was down. I wonder if they're in Dredge, because we're gonna drop this rest in peace. Ooh, that'd be that'd be hilarious. We got it. We have that we have the whole combo. We, have well, everything. we don't we need a way to get treasures. We need more mana is what we need, okay folks. <laughs> We'll get there eventually. We got 23 lands. Does this burn? Oh, this is burn. This is also hilarious. I mean, it's still pretty good against burn. Yeah, whatever. We're yeah, not sure. We can draw a white source here. And name Eidolon. Yeah. And then they have to kill themselves. <laughs> oh, yeah. We are so good at this. Yeah. Just, just uh, the way we drew I it I think up. we can just get a white source here. Because we can feel the room yeah, for the white source the later. Yeah, we can feel the room for Swamp. Don't let them know that we're more than one color. So, Rune Halo, Eidolon, mm -hmm. and yeah. then we win? I don't, I don't think we win. They just they have to lightning bolt it themselves, but this is pretty funny. Eidolon, the Rebels. Oh, the Great Rebels! Rebels. <laughs> the Great Rebel, the one right underneath it. Oh, that one. That one. Ooh, we almost made a mistake there. Uh, that would have been so funny. <laughs> Your opponent's just like, yeah, sure. I mean, he could just attack you a bunch of times with that, right? No, he no. can't, because we have protection we have from, it. from it. <laughs> I mean, he can attack us, it just won't do damage. Goblin Guide. Oh, Rift Bolt. All right, so this is the turn that we... I don't know what we do. Uh, Can't wait to follow the Thran this guy into next week. <laughs> All right, we're getting closer. It, do um, it doesn't quite generate mana. Yeah, we're at we're at parity with next those right Okay, now. but we are going to... Well, they've got double... Sources already, so we're just gonna pass here. I was thinking whether or not we wanted to field them, but there's not much value in it right now. Yeah. This is so great. Dude, I can't wait. I can't wait. Yeah, alright, let's take our damage. We need to draw a white ley line. That's where it gets the sickest. Yes, yeah, so if we get a white ley line, I think we are. Oh, we're just two lands off of the fall. Armageddon or... thing, then. Oh, just keep playing lands opponent. Yes, do it. Oh, baby. Here we go. Oh, Goblin Guide and Swift Spear. That was good. That head off was of those very two. good. Oh, we need to hit a... Um, we need to hit a... Pillow Fort? Um, yeah, we need to hit a Ghostly Prison. And Do then we, we Field can... of Ruin? Oh, <laughs> Did they just concede? We have a Chalice on one. What are they going to do? Oh, oh right. <laughs> what are they going to do? <laughs> Did you forget? Yes, I did. I actually forgot. That's so funny. All right, story circles. Um, I think we're pretty solid, and I think we're bringing in the rain halos. I don't know if we want Nevermores. They seem a little... Yeah, Nevermores is for combo decks. Yeah, so I think we're set on that. Treasure map too slow? Treasure map probably is too slow. Right, we're just getting them on the... Uh... Smothering Tide is our... Well, now we... All right, so this one, we really abuse the uh, the new mulligan rule for ley lines. we got to get rid of the rest in pieces. Yep. Oh, yeah, thing. then we can cut all of the thrain. Too. Ooh, if we do get the Slumini combo, they also can't beat us in any way, right? Uh, yes, they, they can't beat us. Um, so I think we just, we're just... Oh, gonna... well, no, we can bring the treasure maps back in if we... Because we have four slots, and then, like... We're, we're just trying to slow the game down, right? So we can just treasure map. It draws us extra cards, filters our deck. Well, I was thinking, to, to, to slow our... us down, wouldn't we rather just bring in Nevermore's Rats or O-Rings? Well, we're... No, we're already slowing them down, right? Like, we have okay. all the cards to slow them down. Now treasure map is, like, a, our control card engine. Yeah, I tell yeah you. they do filter. Okay, that's a good point. Okay. Yeah. All right, Zark agreed with me, but it's fine. It's I, do fine. Th I do think they're slow, but I also think that... We have our deck points. is supposed to slow the game. All like, right, to, all right. To crawl. All right. So. I can't believe we got there. I no, I believe it. This deck is like. We're gonna cheese him on. Do we have? Well, we have a ghostly, but we have chalice. We have chalice on turn two. We have chalice on turn two for one. That's not bad. And then if we get one more mana, we get a ghostly prism. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I'm. We ghostly prism again. Yeah, I think this is good enough to keep. Yeah. 
Not to mention we're on the draw, so we can always like rip a Simeon Spear guide and, and then just blow them out. Yeah. <laughs> well, they, we're gonna watch out for just. Uh, yeah. Yeah. All right. All right. We we'll get it. We'll get it. <clears throat> Already winning. Oh, we were in a great spot if they're not. They don't have a creature in turn one, and they're playing a Rift Bolt. Mm-hmm. Story circle, yes. We just need one more white source, and then it's pretty much game. Watch him play Idol on here, and then you play Chalice again, and then Ghostly Prison the following turn. He's like, no. Nah. <laughs> Who plays this pile? <laughs> oh man, he pulled it off. Oh, uh, definitely did. Oh, there's the guide. Dang it! Oh. But they gave us the land. He now sees we have black sources, and he's like, what? Yeah, so... Um, um, I think we still chalice on one. I'm just trying to decide if we play the Swamp or the Field of Ruin. I, bring, I think we just play the Swamp. Yeah. Well, wait, chalice is for each color added, right? No, no, it's no, just chalice X-X. is just oh, X-X. just X-X. Yeah. I'm thinking of Sunburst. Yeah. You're thinking of Engineered Explosives. And oh, yeah, yeah. This is where he gets us with Destructive Rivalry? They might, yeah. But, but next uh, turn we go Ghostly Prison, right? Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, ideally we're gonna go ghostly prism unless we want to go story circle. We'll see if he plays. If he plays an additional creature, I say. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. He uses the helix that he had in exile. What's the top card? We got solemnity. All right, so we're halfway to that combo. Mm-hmm. This is where he gets a green. So, oh no! Wow. You know, chance on one this isn't is counter as good as yeah. Well, no, it's the uh, light still, of the wow. stage. Yeah, it's still good. It's just not that. great. Um. Hmm. I guess we ghostly prison to tie up some of his mana. Because he can't get... Well, oh no. So he can still... So, instead of that, here's the other thought is. Play Godless Shrine tapped. Um, run out the treasure map so we can play Story Circle next turn. Or... Just because once we get Story Circle in play, um, we should be able to lock down... A, the, uh, the goblin guy damage and yeah. a spell every time. Uh, wait, does when you do treasure map and solemnity... It, you cannot put tre- counters on the treasure map with solemnity in play, yes. Yeah, okay. I just I just want story that, circle. That, I mean, it doesn't matter. Like, right. I just, yeah, the shock, I don't want to actually shock ourselves. I just want to actually play the godless shrine um, and pass uh, with a treasure map. He just play. has two cards in hand. Yeah. I mean, you could also go ghostly prison next turn. Ghostly prison. Actually, yeah. You know, that's that's fine. Let's do that. You think double yeah. double ghostly prison, and then we'll play Godless Shrine next turn as well. Yeah, but if he plays a land, then what? Well, he, he has a land in exile off of the. Yeah, land he's getting the land for sure. Right, right. So he'll be able to. Uh, he can five us next turn. Yeah. And I think that's fine because we we can't do much about it, and this way we potentially would slow him down as much as possible. Right. Yeah. yeah. We go prison prison. We really need Story Circle to, though, to be on the battlefield here to stay in the game. Yeah, well, we'll eventually... I think that's the one that closes the game out for us. I think we might have to just, like, play play defensively. Play safe until we can get to that point. So, yeah, he's going he's gonna to dome us for five right here. Mm-hmm. Yep. Or he's just not going to swing. Just. Does someone in Spirit Guide change any of our math? I don't think so. No. So, tapped Godless. Yeah, I think we just play tap Godless and Godless Shrine again. I mean, a Ghostly Prism again. And then next turn, uh, we'll just plan on um, seeing if we can get Story Circle for relevancy, getting it out there. Once we get it in play... Then we have to wait another turn to use it. Yes, that that is the awkward part. Unless we draw another white source, we would have to wait an extra turn. There is the line. Well, yeah, we have to go. We have to go see prison here to keep the guide from hitting us. Mm-hmm. Because he's he's definitely Boros charming us on instep. Unfortunately, we can't. We we couldn't crack the field of Bruin earlier. Oh, you know what? That actually probably would have been a good call because then we would have been able to 
Um, yeah, because if he has any... We would have been able to get... Uh, now we have to hit a white source in order to activate Story Circle, where your line... Sma- Ooh. Oh. Yeah, that just kills yeah, us. Yeah, we're dead. Yeah, it, it was irrelevant either way, I guess, but like your line would have allowed for us to um, play Story Circle and protect ourselves. All right, so white ley line is what we need in there. Yeah. I don't think we're going to change anything. I think we're still fine. Yeah. Listen, this is the trial run. It's going to be... Yes, you called it. We got crushed. Solemnity. No, he, he called literally yeah. smashed his yeah. brains. Yes. Yeah, not at all. Like, uh, I think we shipped us. Do this, we? this doesn't do anything. Yeah, his hand doesn't snap. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm, this isn't that much better. We could keep it and ship the smothering, but I think we still should ship this. Going to five? I know, but we aren't doing anything with this hand other than casting Rune Halo. Is that worth it? We've got half of our combo, and we're probably going to be shipping the smothering tithe here. Is, like, is that good enough? What do you guys think? I kind of like it, but then again, like we do have a lot of draws off of the I wish we would have drawn six cards and then Smothering Tithe was at the top of our deck and then we could just... I just don't want Smothering Tithe in this hand at all. I, 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 think this I is, want I, the friction. I, I think like. this is a fine keep. Yeah, I think yeah, this, this is, is keepable. We're and, on, I, and I think we're just shipping this. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And we're just going to run out Concealed Courtyard yep. and then next turn play Rune Halo yep. um, on the creature yeah. and then... Just go from there. If we if we happen to get another combo piece, great. Um, and if we get Leyline, great. Even bloody called it. It was a mole. All right, we'll see. We'll see, Imp. We can't mulligan too much with this deck because we have a lot of like moving pieces that we need to assemble. Should we yeah. have always? Do we always choose to be on the draw? Um. Mm. No, I don't think so. Well, we got a target for a Rune Halo, at least. Yeah, hopefully this guy gives us Draws a Draws this land on top. Yes! Freak cards. Alright. I mean, that's something. I mean, Rune Halo, the Goblin Guide, and then... Goblin Glider. I can just see myself really messing up with this card. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, get a mountain. Dude, dang it. Like, mulliganing aggressively is right. Ooh, now Eidolon. Alright, yep, we get to name Eidolon with Rune Halo. Swing, do it. Do it, coward. <laughs> ah. Mm-hmm. Oh, my lord, this guy's upkeep stops. Hmm. We're going to play the... Sure. Eidolon. Of the Great Rebel. Of the Great Rebel. Pass. Alright. So we are going to get Solemnity in play here next turn, most likely. So then we just need the other part of our combo. And then... Doing arc with... They can still get us with Destructive Revelry, but not Smash. Yep. Managed to gain a life. Come on, years. white lay not white, white lay line off the top one time. Ooh. White lay line off the top one time. They got a helix and a swift spear. Not I guess good. we just tap Godless Shrine and play the solemnity. Yeah. Story Circle probably also wins us the game, so. Yeah. I wonder if. Hmm. Hmm. I wonder if we we're supposed to field a rune there just to pull another land out of the deck, but. If we get another Spirit Guide, we can cast Spirit so Guide. We go to 10 here <laughs> and then take another 2, go to 8, and mm-hmm. he has 4 in hand. Eek. This isn't great. Yeah, ha- him having both helixes there has been pretty pretty good for him. Mm-hmm. Story circle. Yeah. Rune Halo Swiss Spear. Yeah, then we can play this Field of Rune and blow up a perm- or one of his lands. Blow up one of his white sources. Hmm. 
We can wait on it. Yeah. Till when? If he go, it comes in play untapped, doesn't it? It comes yeah. in play untapped. Yeah. But I don't. We would be giving him a red source right now. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Which he could then bolt us with. Okay. Spell crack. All right. Thank you. Sure. <laughs> Thank you. What? What was that? All right. So we field of ruin this. What? What? Oh, damage can't be prevented. Oh, skull crack. <laughs> oh, skull crack. That's so. <laughs> <cool>. <laughs> Oh, that's so good! <laughs> Bird player. He's so much smarter than we are. Oh, we that. tried so hard! We tried so hard! <laughs> oh, actually, there's a bathroom right over here. Man. Oh, yeah, there's a bathroom right there. This one here? Yeah, right in the left. Oh. Uh, yeah, we're keeping this. Sure. You got Chalice on one. Oh, Blue Red Land and they played no one drop. That means they have no one drops for this chalice to counter. <sighs> Gonna just run this map out here. Yeah, I think so. Cast a one drop, you won't. And I think we're doing it on upkeep. Yeah, just to kind of filter our draws a little bit. Mm-hmm. This is going to be awkward if we get blue mooned. <laughs> oh, I opened my mouth real quick there. Did you huh? stop? <laughs> oh, don't tap our white source. <laughs> oh, that's a mountain. It's a land. I mean... Like, if we go land, land, we get to... Oh, wait, no, we're one short of uh, doing fall. So, one, two, three, four, yeah... It's probably it's probably good to just ship it, right? Yeah, just put it on them. <laughs> Be easy. Still draw a mountain. Did we win? No, we got Blood Moon, and we don't have our we have a planes, but we could uh, Simeon Spirit Guide out Solemnity, but that doesn't do anything. Yeah, it does not do anything. Rest in peace doesn't do much. Uh, it sh it turns our fall of the Thran into an Armageddon. Okay, let's do that. It also messes with their Blue Moon deck, right? Because they probably play Snapcasters. Also, possibly bait out some sort of counter spell. All right. Now we're gonna get to Armageddon. Then we're like, who's the land denial deck now? Uh oh. Oh, we can hard cast Simeon Spirit Guide to trade with one of those. Yes, we are. The awkward thing is our map is going to flip, and we're going... Well, actually, hmm. That's probably... Do we want it to flip? Like, we get the mana, and then we get to follow Thran. No, wait, no, that's Brad. We'd lose. With the, to the snaps. Currently, yeah. But I... We, we still scry to flip it, because, like, we're still getting a bunch of mana this turn to do stuff. Field's going to the bottom. Yep. Yep. Runeilo Snapcaster with a... We can Runeilo off the treasures. Yeah, yeah, let's do that. Yeah, I feel like there's a counterspell coming, but... That's why. Nope, he's f 6 Do we follow the Thran now? Do I think so, he f 6 One, two, three, what? four... No, we're, four, we're at four. It, we're mana off. Okay, we're just passing here. Should but we he get... Didn't have a, he didn't have a cryptic that turn, so... Yeah, so we'll just pass here. We yeah. have Chalice on one, so he can't bolt us. Yeah, we're just going to pass. So, yeah, if this Fall of the Thran resolves, like, we might just... Yes, play more lands opponents. Oh. That's another treasure map. That's pretty sweet. <sighs> okay, so this will blow up all the lands and exile them. Um, we've got protection, and we have two mana afterwards. What does the two mana... 
One, two, three, four, five. Should we wait one more turn and then fall? So we can have treasure map in play? Yeah, why not? Because we can treasure map and solemnity this turn. Yeah. I wonder if we should be... Man, I just want to run a Fall of the Thrandello Ford deck. <laughs> right? <laughs> Scroll this other nonsense. Put like a couple mana racks in there or something. Oh, oh so you are so right. St Slimity stuff's fall. Uh-oh, we goofed. And we can't treasure map now. Well, we can't flip it, but that means we can always use it to scry. Right. So that's actually a combo. Revel's great. Right? I mean... We keep getting treasures. Yeah, we'll just if, keep getting treasures till we well, win. Well, if they... I mean, once we find a way to get treasures. Good. Once we get a smothering tithe. That's fine. We need to sack this for the black. Yeah. We're gonna get there. We get to do infinite scries. We will get there. Right. They don't know what we're doing. Can't we they barely... just pay for smothering tithe every time? Yes, they they can. They but. can. All right. But we'll eventually get them. Oh, I'm bad. I didn't. I didn't. Didn't I scry didn't that away. Yeah, it's um, fine. Hold we, on to that land. Should we play Fall of the Thran? Just it won't, to, it who, won't do anything. No, no, no. But won't it on the upkeep when we when that goes away finally? If for some reason, like Solemnity gets bounced or whatever. Then fall the rain will go off, or is it just not worth it for showing this? Yeah, it's probably not worth showing. Not worth it. unless we get like Starfield of the next. Okay. Although I I do feel like we could have we could start holding on to lands. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, especially if we're gonna try to go for this. I'm gonna do this now. Bottom. This is where we get Starfield of the next, and then we just like. We can bottom that one. But what if it's so we kill more snaps? <laughs> it's not happening, man. Look, guys. Our opponent's not winning. Yeah, both we're of us not, are over here. We're not winning. Doing nothing. This is great. Just, uh. Two straight guys doing nothing. Yep. Alright. Can't die to damage. <laughs> what is this again? <laughs> is it just a bunch of one drops? I don't understand what they're doing. They also don't understand what we're doing. <laughs> I mean, they understand now it's on the battlefield, right? Right. So they can't beat us with damage. So we can Armageddon, Zox! So we can Armageddon! We're like, boom, there goes all the lands. They're like, oh my gosh, they don't return. <laughs> Aw. Was he abrading? Our, our chalice. Our chalice on one. All sure. Right. Mm. Kind of rude upon it. All right. We have to give up our treasure, but that's fine, right? Um. I don't even know if this is worth running out, though. Yeah, we can't... Like, what are they going to target us with that's relevant? Bolts. That's not relevant. <laughs> right? Well... It's kind of relevant. Yeah, I guess if they get us... It's okay, kinda... yeah, I guess... But, like, if they're trying to, like, Cryptic Boop. Command bounce our thing after they get us to low life... Yeah. Yep. See? There's those bolts. Probably. Draw like a million lightning bolts. Yeah, he probably just had a bunch of bolts that they were just trying to wait to get uh, out of that chalice. Yeah, you're going to target your bolts? Nice. Just kidding. Oh. You are right, Zach. It, this might actually become a. This Starfield is the Starfield game. game. One of Starfield that will definitely never get cryptic commanded. You gotta believe, man. Yep. That's a nice mountain. Yeah. Well, that could be useful at some point. Yeah, if we could ever cast it, sure. Yeah. How many months? <laughs> All right. She <laughs> did bottom of planes earlier. So. I know. It's my fault. But... All right, now we, no, we don't bottom planes. 
probably just kind of. How many cards do we have in our library versus their library? 41 to 40. Perfect. There it is. Top. What are we naming, though? Um, well, what uh, if... What we'll, if We'll just wait. We'll just won't play it and we'll wait. Yeah. I mean... Oh, crap! Uh, we're not playing that. Oh, that's fine to play, but we're not playing the Rune Halo. Yeah. Oh, that's why I thought you meant by not playing. I was thinking about whether or not we should even play that. Oh, the so save the planes for after, like, all yes, the things we ever case. get to, just like... Just in case, but I already collected it, so it's too late. I mean, right. honestly, we could no just... faith, old man. <laughs> faith. Yeah, I know, I read that already. <laughs> I, see, I see him talking trash in the chat. I don't know... <sighs> How we're winning. <laughs> uh, because we have 40 cards, and they have 40 cards. We have and a they... Starfield of Nex in here, and all of our enchantments will become dudes, mm -hmm. and we will beat him in the face. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, just like that. Although you have to remember, Rude Halo gives us protection from Snapcasters, but not our itself. enchantments that become No, we'll just dudes. be attacking with our 4 or 5-5, five, five, probably. That's it. Yeah. It'll be really awkward when they all become creatures, and he just starts, like, bolting them and stuff Well, he's like already that. used two. Is this like, no, my ruined Halo on Snapcaster. I remember when uh, I played that 1K and I played against the guy that was on like this mono blue prison style deck just mm -hmm. like this. And then we got in the middle of the game and. <gasps> I, oh no. What did it bounce? Ruined Halo. Halo. Snapcaster. Oh. Yeah. oh. We're gonna well, take... we still have the Solemnity and the Phyrexian Unlife, so. Yeah. We're not like dead yet. We can just bounce the one of them though. But we're going to four, so we're still not dead yeah, yet. We're fine. We're gonna run Halo snap again. We might do two of them, but we can't this turn. So desolated lighthouse, get out of here. If you bounce them, do we get treasure? <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, it only triggers off of opponent stuff, right? For the yeah. Yeah. Get him to bolt his own snap casters. Got him. We really got to figure out a way. <laughs> like, yeah, I mean, yeah, this isn't working out. This We're not getting as many treasures as we intended. It's, it's way better if you have, like, four smothering tides in the deck because then you just yeah. have them in play and they have to, like, it just, they stack and they cast cantrips. Well, even if, like, so if we had not played the Solemnity or whatever it is. one, so we're going to ship it. Yeah, yeah, ship it. Well, was it relevant to have two, uh, just in case they bounce one? Uh, they would just bounce the uh, the, um, the unlife, right? I guess that's fair. Uh, oh, did we just die? Play. Mm -hmm. We're gonna run out the simian and die still. Yep. Yeah, we're dead. They got us. Oh, yeah. Okay. If they bounce it. No, yeah, they countered it. No, no. If they bounce one of the Solemnity. Oh yeah, they still have to. So that's fair. Yeah, cast this two two. The Coming in hot. The ape spirit beats. Is he? Is he responding to? Yeah, he counter. Okay. So you he don't have another cryptic command. Don't have they cryptic. always don't have, have another cryptic. one. Oh, he's looking for it. He's looking. Ooh, we're about to get a treasure when we trade with this pig or. There right. yeah, we are. Ape. It doesn't matter. He can't do it now. Doesn't have no blue sources. Sure. Yeah, man. Nice blood moon. Trade it in. Deal. We're getting a treasure. All right, now we can never have on life bounced ever again. <laughs> this is a dangerous game. Wait, did we not get a treasure? Oh, because we exiled with rest in peace. <laughs> This deck doesn't work. <laughs> we have such a nombo deck. <laughs> we have such a nombo deck. Uh, we just built a deck that doesn't work. Listen, I mean, like, if we, we've won a game with a non-working deck, so... Oh. We can chalice on one... Or, can we chalice? On, on like four? four? We can't chalice. We have Solemnity in play. <laughs> Bottom of your library, boys. <laughs> It's not an option, folks. This is so good. <laughs> Why did we add this combo? We needed it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs>
This is the worst. I don't think our opponent knows that we don't know what we're doing, though, so this is fine. No! That's game. No! <laughs> All right, let's get to sideboarding what we can fix. Oh, okay. Um, oh, my lord, this is so bad. Uh, <laughs> Do we never more to, like, I think name... We- like we didn't command. see, we didn't see through the breaches. Um, so I think I, they're just straight blue moon. Okay, we probably don't need the ghostly presence. With that being the case, sure. Um, Nevermore seemed fine, and then maybe like an O ring. O ring just in, in general seems solid. It's like our only way to deal with the blood moon as well. Suppression field target lands, or. Hit lands. Suppression field. Uh, yeah. Yes, it hits lands. It's not the worst thing in the world. It slow, uh, slows down it's their fetches. their own fetches and field of runes. <laughs> it, it, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And, and By the uh, way, I would like to point out that we've run into multiple times where, um, like, fetch lands being actively bad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. The, the four fetch lands might have been a mistake. I think we want to play all this room more. Sure. I mean, are we kind of rest in peace? I do because I like it makes them. Uh, uh, they have to discard cards. I, I think that alone is worth it. And they sacrifice a creature. Sure. Just it's awkward with uh, with rest in peace. We're gonna get their jace. Yeah, we get to get their jace. So should we get rid of rest in peace? What else is rest in peace messing up? It's just hitting yeah, their uh, their it's snaps. The That's it. Oh yeah, that's it. So get rid of that. Um, do we play story circle here? Honestly. No, no, we don't. Okay, how about Rune Halo then? Yeah, I'm going with Rune Halo. They probably don't have that many ways to kill us, right? Yeah. Yeah, sure. If we would have drawn Starfield, we would have got it. Would we? Yo, oh, we get it. Solemnity is not a good card. But we're. We... <laughs> this is fine. We're going to win. <clears throat> so, with this hand, <laughs> we get to start with a ley line. And we're not casting anything else for. Yeah, why don't we mulligan turns. this hand, huh? I mean, we want some basics. We get them later. Oh yeah, this right is there. Fine. This is fine. We'll ship away the extra chalice. Sure. And we'll do a turn zero play. Nice. Do opponent. Wait, what is the what does leyline stop in this bolts? They can't target us. So, uh, well, I get what Leyline does, but I mean, what does Leyline do? They can't get some given. Is that a thing in this? Thing? No, uh-huh. no, it's not. The real miracle here is if we win. <laughs> oh, play that. Well, I guess we, we sh- are on the plane. probably should march flats for the planes. Yeah. Then we can field of runes next turn for the planes. Mm-hmm. Um, treasure map. Chalice here, right? Yeah, Wait, is, I think it's Chalice on 1. Chalice on 1, it's because a 1 CMC card then? Yeah, it comes all 1 CMC Oh, cards. yeah, definitely then. Is Chalice a 1 while on the stack? No, Chalice will be 2 on the stack. Like well, it's it would be 2 on the stack. Oh, they're going to spell they, snare. If they have spell snare, then they spell snare. Yeah. Just, we're not here to like actually be like, oh, let's you know, play around the things. Yeah, it's fine. This is going to shut down their ops, their bolts. Um, the bolts are already shut down. So this, this is great. This is great. We don't know what we're doing. It's great. We don't have a field rune target. It's awkward. He'll give us one next turn for when he plays his red source. No, oh, no problem. And we drew the planes anyways. No, play the field of rune. Just just because like we want to mize the um Should we play Treasure Map right now though? Um Yeah, I mean what are you what else are you doing? You could play well, Treasure no, Map. No, like I I I was one I was thinking that we can leave Field of Rune open. Okay, let's do that. So, Cause like he's a Blood Moon deck, and like he was he was hosing us on colored sources for quite a while there, so he's probably going to be keeping them in. Is that or we can start scrying? Instead of fetch land, should we be playing the black white uh, dude land? Mm-hmm. Not unreasonable. Then we'd have a way to win. <laughs> <laughs> We gotta name something relevant with this Nevermore. Well, I was thinking Snapcaster Command. Cryptic, I, I like it a lot. Mm. Oh, there we go. We're gonna be giving him Cryptic Man. I just want to, you guys just should be aware of that. Well, for this brief second. <laughs> <laughs> so we can bounce our ley line so we can play next turn? Uh huh. Yeah. 
And do we just... I don't think we even need to get the swamp, do we? Just get it anyways. So we yeah, can we have, have the planes in hand, I suppose. So. Mmm. We probably just need the red source. So we can... Yeah, now's the time to just bump a map. Well, uh -huh. I was thinking that we would play Nevermore before he gets to Cryptic Mana, but... Oh, that's fair. We had to bait out the spring man. Perfect. We're still Slam good at this. this treasure map again. Nice card, opponent. That's where you say keep pulling. You gotta stop on upkeep MTGO. so that we don't miss this. I already have to stop on upkeep. Boom, it Perfect. stays on MTGO. You don't have to keep setting it like an arena. Wait, you have to keep is, doing it in arena? Yes, every time you pass by your stop and you've used it, it uh oh. Uh, how do we beat. Well, they can't shoot us, right? Room, they. Oh, it gets past Ley Line. We have four Rune Talos now, though. So yeah. we can... And we have a Scry effect to get to it. But he also gets, like, an... He gets an emblem eventually, though. What? He's playing... Oh, man, he just boarded into ways to kill us, huh? Yeah, but the emblem can't target us. Yeah, but we can't name the emblem. Bottom. But Ley Line beats the emblem, right? Oh, that's fair. We can, um, he can just keep plusing to cryptic that. now. Yeah, I think Nevermore and Cryptic's on solid. Yeah. Yeah, but we're, if we don't find something, the Rune Taylor to answer the Chandra before then, then yeah, sure, he got us. Okay. <laughs> yeah, Leyland does beat that blow. That's a good point. Scalding Tarn, we take two. I hope he's sending on like three cryptics in hand and he's like, oh no. I think the most fun part about this deck is it just makes the most niche <laughs> scenarios possible. We have the weirdest deck. Yes. <laughs> well, it, I don't know if weird is the operable term. More like. <laughs> this is like that, like a car that runs on water. Oh no. Well, we beat with that with Leyline too. Yeah. Both of these planeswalkers can't kill us until if we get a, a rune halo. No. No. We not. <laughs> That's a free bottom card. I mean, I mean. Sure. Unless we want a field of ruin, but. Nah, I don't, yeah, I think I'd rather just run out. Yeah, I'm life, yeah. Yeah. Ha! Game 10, opponent. Well, can the Chandra ever kill us now if he just keeps plussing it? With that in play? Yes, it would yeah, deal it does, two infect. It does two infect damage. Oh. <laughs> there goes that cryptic command. <laughs> I do like our opponent, though. He's playing Ral, Caller, or... Is it, it? Is it Vice Roy? Vice Roy. Uh, Andrew is obsessed with that card. Is Dude, that card's sweet. Yep. Uh oh, we're flipping a treasure map. Now we have to draw cards. This is the worst. We're, maybe we should have kept. Oh, oh, man, we did it. We're the best. Oh, shit, son. We're going to be we a treasure cast city. We're, we're actually getting pretty darn close to this Revel in Riches. This is great. This is so great. No, it's not even because like, we still need to like, die. I'm not mad at it, though. I like what we're doing here. Do we even draw with the treasures then if we're going to try and rival in riches? No, we're just going to keep them there. But we have to get like another. We have to get like two more. No! It doesn't do anything. I mean, it unlocks your one drops. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I just like keeping my stuff, okay? I like my stuff. Like without Cryptic, I don't know how they bounce our thing. Because I don't think they run Echoing Truth or Wipe Away in these decks. Like, I think Cryptic is, like, the only bounce effect. I would not be surprised. If and, like, with our permanents, are, like, and Blue-Red doesn't really interact with enchantments. Like, they can just keep shooting us for quite some turns, so we... Yeah, so we, we still need to find a Rune Halo. Mm -hmm. So I guess we we might have to actually crack the treasures to try to draw into a Rune Halo right. at some point, but... yeah. Yeah, you have to use the treasure cove to sack. To actually sack it, mm -hmm. so it eats our mana. Mm -hmm. and don't forget to... Scry this turn. Yeah, scry in there instead. 
Are they running the numbers real quick? How do I win against this pile of garbage? <laughs> Some guy's like screenshotting, sending it to his friend. He goes, well, this is... Guys, we gotta build this. We gotta build this. Welcome to modern. <clears throat> Hello, Jojo. It's nice to meet you. I do like that you are playing as a viceroy. You're a real, real classy <sighs> fella for doing that. Unfortunately, you have to play against this trash pile. <laughs> Double scry. There it is. Found the rune halo. Alright, see so what counter spell they got for it. So we named Chandra, right? Yeah. He doesn't have a spell snare. Just doesn't have it. No spell snare. That's not a spell snare. That's an opt. God. Alright, well. Should we eat a treasure right now? Yeah, I think we have to start. Wait, we don't have double. Well, yeah, we do have double white if we. Yeah, eat a treasure. We need another one. Yeah, we have to... He's got us on a five-turn clock. We're so good at this. Yep. Yeah. All right. Play it. Do we just run it out right now? Yeah. yeah. What if he has snap? Oh. Yeah. Then we cry. Yeah. We actual cry. All right. That a break might have actually been relevant. <laughs> totally should have walked one drops. Trash pile. No. <laughs> no. Not like this. <laughs> Trash heap, no. Oh, All right, so God. that's two of them. All right, so we need Starfield now. Oh. No, we have four room halos. We brought the other two. No, we just the board. we need Starfield, okay? <laughs> For a 4-4 four, four and a 3-3 three, three that can just be killed by... Even, we, they're just drawing so many cards. They're drawing so many cards. They're gonna play their Jace. He can't gonna... target this though. Yeah, he can't. He can fate oh, steal okay. himself That's though. Cool. He could ult himself too. Ooh. Wait, does it target him? Yeah. With ult? Yeah. Okay. Right. Target player. Target. Yes, yeah, Leyline. So good. Beating the Walker squad. Uh, I mean, are we really? <laughs> are we really winning? I feel like we're just staying alive. <laughs> Are you even really staying alive? <laughs> no, no. No. What does it mean to live? Oh, man. This is the worst. <laughs> this deck is agonizing to play. All right, so he doesn't really have... He has seven cards in hand. He doesn't have what? Can you... F uh, he probably has... <laughs> The only way we're winning is well, no, 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 no. I'm thinking of our Field of Ruin plays because we, we can keep him off of Crypt. You can't cast Cryptic, right? So he can. Has he he, blue, he blue, cannot. Blue. There's a Nevermore but there's a on never Cryptic more. Command. Okay, well, I don't know. Maybe he's got Snap. Is there a two-mana card in the graveyard that does something relevant? A parade, but that just hits no, um, okay. Treasure Mine. He's, I mean, like... Why didn't mana traders tell us not to play this deck? I don't know. <laughs> like the, are you sure you want these cards? This is the pile. <laughs> <laughs> we can have a bunch of mana. Yeah, no thanks. What are we drawing? <laughs> <laughs> All right, start eating some treasures. I wish we would have just built oh, the, the I, Heartless Summoning deck and cut Revel and Riches from it. <laughs> Alright, after this we drop. <laughs> I mean, there's a, I'm sure that there's like a version of this that works, but we have to build a deck that works. Alright, we're, we're, we're like dead here. We got like one... Yeah, eat a treasure. I, I will. I, I accidentally skipped past our turn here, so I'll eat a treasure on our turn. Because we, we're on... We're on like two turns here. <laughs> two turns. Yeah, it's not the best. It's not the worst. This is not the worst deck I've played in Modern. Are you There's sure? Boys. Boys. With this new mulligan rule, my my turn two combo deck is... The stupid Protean Hulk deck? Yes! Oh my gosh! Oh no. We're so dead. Can I concede? Yeah, you can, you can concede. If you yeah, want. Yeah. Let me draw a card and I'll, if it's not anything relevant, I'm conceding. Okay. Hopefully this opponent doesn't take forever to pass priority. How do I win against my opponent who's doing nothing? Wait, why didn't we get priority in there? Okay. 
Just draw a card. No, 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 no. There's, there's a, uh, there's a Protean Hulk deck that I came up with a while ago, and it's sick nasty. Like literally, like it will make you sick and it will make you feel nasty. Nasty. Oh, that's nasty. What? Can we, you, why you kept it? hitting. <laughs> you kept skipping faces. Dwayne. No, I hit the wrong button. <laughs> He's got his hand over there on the F6. Is this how we magic? No. Oh, just draw just a draw card. a card. <sighs> draw for turn and then draw off treasure cards. This, is, this doesn't even stop us from losing, though. Draw from treasure cards. Let's see. Let's find out. See what we got in the box. What's in this treasure? Does it save us? Come on, Treasure Cove, lead us to the treasure. We need. We we don't need friendship this time. It's that's not the treasure that this we need. This is so at all bad. Uh, draw another card. We we can still win. No, it, it's 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 nothing as nastier than this. We can still win. Starfield and Nyx. Starfield, Starfield and Nyx doesn't and win. All right, so we can chalice on. Uh, we can play Godless Shrine untapped. <laughs> Got you. <laughs> Unlife. Suck it. All right, so chalice on what? One. We can chalice on one and then ruin Halo. The Vendillion click. Sure. Watch him Snapcaster the Abrade so he takes some more damage here. Or do we play it on the Chandra? I'd play it on the Chandra. Because we could pillow for it out that, um, those creatures, but we can't pillow for it out that Chandra. Not really. They've got, like, nine mana. Yeah. So why do you gotta counter stuff, opponent? With a big dude. Like, I'm not even doing anything. For how much? For five. Dang it. One more than we can. Yeah. This guy's rude. No, right, we can concede now whenever you wish. Yeah, I'm done with this. Listen, it was a good idea. We are living the It was a good idea until we put the uh, cards that make the other cards don't work. I'm willing to give us one more game. Oh, no. <laughs> like, well, because, like, I, I have to be done either way. After oh, this, that's fair. After oh, this yeah, because you're, like, all responsible. Right, right. Okay, well, actually, we drop out of this league... Is cube still going on? Uh, yeah, I think cube. Why don't we? Why don't we cube? All right, let's cube. Why don't we cube? I'm gonna drop from this league. This pile <laughs> is too much for me. <laughs> I I can't handle it. I am more than happy to throw away twelve dollars for nothing. And oh, uh, that entertainment wasn't worth twelve dollars. That was to quality you? content. <laughs> no, <laughs> I mean yes, it was. But all right, we're gonna give this deck back, and we're gonna jump on a legacy cube. And once this deck is burnt, <laughs> take it back. We don't want. We, we went actually just like it, it probably would have been fine if we just didn't go th throw in the solemnity combo. Yeah, actually, I think so too. Yeah, I feel like there's a different deck that we could build without the solemnity combo. Hmm. Okay, so that card's gone. Uh, I'm stopping the recording for 